So on Twitter, we've got Andrew Eisner, Jolie O'Dell, and Rob Anderley to discuss the iPhone 5, obviously. Dung, and what else? Oh, what does that say? The Hyper Tunnel. Oh, my God. That's on the next Twit. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for This Week in Tech is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one-click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full-length CD listening parties. Download it for free at winamp.com slash Android. Video bandwidth for Twit is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. This is Twit, episode 371, recorded September 16th, 2012. The return of Cranky Geeks. This Week in Tech is brought to you by GoToMeeting with HD Faces from Citrix. All you need is a webcam and a click to turn your online meeting into a high-definition video conference. Meet with colleagues anywhere in the world, even from an iPad. Sign up for your 30-day free trial today. Visit GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code TWIT. And by Stamps.com. Start using your time more effectively with Stamps.com. Use Stamps.com to buy and print real U.S. postage the instant you need it right from your desk. For our special offer, visit Stamps.com, click the radio microphone, and use the offer code TWIT. And by the new Squarespace. Squarespace introduces a new content management system, making it faster and easier to create a high-quality website or blog. Plus, more than 50 new features, including mobile responsive designs. For a free trial and 10% off your first purchase, go to squarespace.com and use the offer code TWIT9. And by Gazelle, the fast and simple way to sell your iPhone, iPad, MacBook, or Android smartphone. Find out what your gadget is worth and get cash to upgrade to the latest phone at gazelle.com. Welcome to Twit Show 371. I'm your substitute host here. I'm uh, taking over from Leo, who's at the 49er game. So he'll be, you can actually see him tonight on television because he'll be on, I think the game starts at 5 or something like that. He got invited to the game and I don't know. So they, I'm actually the second choice. Becky Worley was going to be the actual uh, host here and then she bailed out. So I thought I'd come in. <laughs> I brought with me people I know well and I can work with well, starting on my left with Jolie O'Dell. The uh, fabulous writer for Venture Beat, and it, she came in here today. It's her birthday. Shucks, you told on me. So that's amazing that she would take time out from her birthday, and she's dolled up for it. In fact, and uh, she came in here to uh, discuss the uh, news of the day. On my right is Rob Enderley, who is the most quoted man in Silicon Valley. Yeah, this yeah. week, uh, always. <laughs> He has uh, has a he has phones all over his body. They can always get a hold of him for a for a pithy quote. He is absolutely uh, like glow in the dark. The best at this. So if you have a pro if you have some story you're doing, call Rob. And I, I've worked with him a lot. And then of course the X3 uh, geek, uh, Andrew Eisner is here at the end. We couldn't get Joe Engo because he's in Jersey, which is too bad because we're going to talk about a lot of stuff today, including the top of the uh, list, which is the iPhone. Five and what everybody thinks about it. And we might as well start with Jolie, who says mm, that she's a big iPhone huge fan. Huge iPhone fangirl. Love those things. They're so phony. Okay. 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 That's, that's, uh, that's pretty real. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very unconvincing. Uh, yeah. so, Sorry, okay. I, I gave it my best shot, John. I really did. We don't really have a fanboy here, unfortunately, but we do have uh, our. <laughs> we have Rob. The other side of that particular. Uh, Formula, but yeah, I'm not a, not a huge fan. Uh, you know, nice product. They improved it in all the all major areas. Uh, I was looking at. I've just finished a, a session with Intel on their Tomorrow Project, and they were talking a lot about how you, when you look at a product, uh, figuring out what the design elements that went into it, and who it was designed for. And then I went back and looked at the iPhone uh, 4s and 5, and especially the 5 against the Samsung Galaxy 3, small, jewel-like. Uh, it was designed for a woman. It was that, that the design concern. Now, part of that's good. 
part of that's good because you know often we design products, technology products for guys. So what does it, it what does it look before. like if it's designed for a man, like a tree trunk? That would this this is a guy's phone. Much. This is this is this more is much it's big. It's big, you know bigger okay. is better. Ever watch Tim the Toolman Taylor? It's you know more power. But the but the reality is, is most of the phones we're going to are larger, more robust. We talk about you know megahertz, which is our form of horsepower. Uh, the iPhone's on a different path, and I and I actually think that they had a a design element there that focused it on a on a on a female audience. Now, having said that, you know, most by, by the way, just to, just to that kind is a of, bomb to drop yeah. at the top of a show. To kind yeah. of uh, add to that, uh, if you read the, any of this coverage, Beharin, yeah, said it felt like a piece of jewelry. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. It it looks like a piece of jewelry. He must not no. have much experience it is. with if jewelry. You look at, they even described it as jewelry. Yeah, Remember yeah, they yeah. said jewel-like on the edges. Yeah. It's, oh, girl, I but, know jewelry, know, and this is the, not a jewel. All the same, I think it's it's just a marvel of engineering. I mean, there there's nothing revolutionary in this, but there's just the sum of all these improvements and all these enhancements. Everything from you know the camera and the sapphire lens. It's you the know, same camera. No, it's but the same I mean, camera they switch from gorilla glass to sapphire on the on the lens protector because sapphire is a pure glass. They actually and, have a know, sapphire, an artificial sapphire uh, a protector. Yeah, protector the lens. It's, it's more scratch resistance. They went with you know more microphones. They went with Three. five magnet transducers. I mean, there are improvements galore on this thing, and I think it all adds five up. Five magnet transducer. Yeah, so more power, you know. So Do you have one of these things yet? Or you were subscribed? I don't, but you I mean, use an iPhone, I, I see. I use an iPhone, yeah. and if my contract wasn't up, I'd probably go and... I found, by the way, I think, I wrote about this in a couple of different places, I believe that Apple, this is going to be their last hurrah for these phones yeah. because they, what are you going to do after this? So they have, but they, it's very important for them to get the line around the block. They got to get the line around the block. No, they are going to. I guarantee you they will. They're, gonna, they're already pulling out every stop they can. There's going to be a shortage. They've stopped taking orders oh, on the phone because they can't get enough an of these. Artificial phones. shortage. Yes, I think it's an artificial mm. shortage because they have them in the stores. That means they're not out. So I think they just decided to have the shortage. Otherwise, they don't have the lines at the stores. If so they don't really have the order. line around the block, this is going to be considered a huge failure. Yeah. So they want the line. Yeah. They're managing to the line. They'll have a line. Yeah. I, well, I would. The think. reason why they'll get it is because they waited such a long time to introduce them. So there's lots of pent up demand. Lots of contracts that are available and so yes and it's a and it's a beautiful looking phone it is very pretty. you're on your own with the but you're uh, ready to get a new one i'm ready to get a new one sure have you been clinging to the iphone person? 4 or do you what? have a 4s a i think he's got a 4 what do you have a 4 <laughs> you have a 4 or a 4s oh okay so i know people who have been clinging to their iphone 4s i use these huge phones you your nexus right yeah yeah right look at that yeah it's bigger screens i think bigger is better with a screen but that's me okay well so you got you think there's going to be a huge hit? You think it's going to keep the stock propped up to 700? Oh yeah, and uh, through the end of the year at least. Huh. But you know what's funny too? Um, I brought along that uh, that clip of the, um, the somebody compiled all the adjectives used. Oh, the do last. we have that chat? We got to we got to. <laughs> you could talk over, but, but it, you know, let him play it. It's it's, it's, it's all the adjectives thing. used in the from uh, going back from 2007 to. Um, you know, the present, but it's all just... Uh, okay, here it is. I've been looking forward to it two and a half years. Revolutionary breakthrough. Revolution. Revolutionary breakthrough. Revolutionary. 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 So, a revolutionary... Revolutionary. Breakthrough. So cool. cool. Breakthrough. Cool. It's not so revolutionary cool. if it's iterative, though. No, is it? this is going back to 2007. So yeah. this is going back for every iPhone. Well, I mean, they're saying... All the, they say revolutionary all the time about every device that they roll out. Beautiful, really beautiful, gorgeous, faster, amazingly zippy, faster, faster, much, much faster, very beautiful. Okay. We're moving up to uh, three the GS. Yes. Really, really fast, faster, 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 faster than that. Great, great, great. Isn't this a star? Great, great, fastest, great, incredibly fast. <laughs> iPhone 4, 2010. Beautiful, most precise. Beautiful precision, beautiful, just gorgeous, really thin, thinner, thinner, thinnest, beautiful, thinnest, incredible. fattest, oh, bastards, awesome, 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 beautifully, yes, gorgeous, gorgeous. 2011, 4, 4S. Faster, to twice as fast, great, great, fast, really fast, a great and twice as fast. You know, it's fast. funny, the, the adjectives faster. are different between the presenters. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, they are. Here, here's the newest. Here's the newest. That's the same what Jobs did. Brilliant, gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful. Thinner, thinner, lighter, just screams. Ultra fast. Faster, faster, thinner, and lighter, thinner, lighter, fast, faster, really fast. Fast. Beautiful. So do you think it's fast? I don't know. Faster? <laughs> Might be. Ultra fast, fast, fast. Fastest. I don't know if it's thin. <laughs> Okay, well, that yeah. tells us why. I started summing it up. <laughs> this is the one thin. of the reasons I'm so... This is one of the reasons people are always giving me crap about being a, a kind of a uh, uh, all-around critic. Mm -hmm. This is the, what does it. It's this kind of crap. They just keep <laughs> promoting... They can't even come up with new adjectives. No, it's... Well, we like... Sl the how about ones. the word slim? Is that even a possibility? It's just thinner, 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 thinner. Thinnest. <laughs> Thinnest. <laughs> it's slimmer, yeah, slimmest. Is, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Thin's easy. So anyway, this is what how it works. This is the Silicon. Somebody once told me I was talking to somebody about Silicon Valley being the innovative. This is years ago, innovative and all this. Something I says bullcrap. They're not innovative at all. Everything all we do is really good sales. Well, I mean that is all marketing, isn't it? I mean it's all completely relative. And do we need thinner, faster phones, or do we just need better, cooler phones that do something different that have a design language that isn't five years old and kind of sad looking when you put it up next to a Windows phone? or a newer Android. There, I said it. I made my big point about those stupid phones, which is, why doesn't the design language get an update? They can be thinner and faster and whatever, but why are they still sporting the same ugly, stupid, glossy designs for the applications uh, and the OS? And You're there the we have it. There goes her half oh, oh, no, no. There I'm goes half her fan. audience. Huge fan, huge fan of the iPhone 5. All right, so what do we think about the dock connector? Does anybody get annoyed about this but me? And I think it was a bad, mis bad decision. I, I'm mixed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, they did one thing. They changed they, they the connector. They did one thing great, though. Why? I mean, because one of my all-time pet peeves about technology connectors is that you can't figure out which way to plug them in. Right. Whether it's USB, micro it's USB. Very annoying. I mean, you try them one way, but so they finally did it so you can you can plug the connector in one one way or the other. Isn't that revolutionary? <laughs> revolutionary. It's, it's, and it's also faster and thinner. But you have to replace most of your accessories now. Yeah. Run new cables to your car. I've got to yank the entire stereo out of my car to change that damn plug. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, wait, there's more. Uh, so uh, because they they thought that there might this might run USB three, and it actually is not spec'd out for USB three, which is you know much much faster than USB two. But actually, I was reading that one of the limiting factors on you on the iPhone is the flash memory couldn't even keep up with USB 3. So even if they did make it USB 3, you couldn't get the throughput necessary to take advantage of it memory. because they've got cheaper flash memory. But the, and yeah, there's also just another indication. That's not a new thing. We've had these ports on PCs forever that can't even come close yes, to pushing yeah. out the data. But it would be nice to have a faster connection yes. when you're downloading videos or and Stealing you know, stuff movies. from other people. <laughs> but, but, but also, this is just another indication of how this is just an example of, you know, a, an un, a nece, unnecessary connector because how the world is moving towards, you know, wireless and, yeah, and, much and cloud. Works. So basically, it's a power. It's a power. It's a recharging plug. I mean, if they wanted to do something really revolutionary, have a phone that doesn't need a charger. Aren't we already pretty close to that with other devices? Yeah. The oh, induction well, chargers? Fuel induction. cells. Yeah. <laughs> no, an induction charger. You started on fuel yeah. cells. That would have been cool. Go ahead, start on fuel, fuel cells. Well, the problem with fuel cells is it's always five years off, and it's every year it's five years off. The issue is you, you can't get fuel that's strong enough uh -huh. to run the fuel cell that the FAA will approve. So uh -huh. you can make one of the things, but they never let you take it onto an airplane. And think about that for all these devices not being able to fly with them. It, yeah. it just, it's Some problem. of the stuff's insane. Yeah. Yet they will let you have... Yeah, alcoholic beverages on the plane and a few other things. So I don't, uh, you know. I'm, I don't think it'd be cool if you could run these phones on vodka. Well, right. Then you could get the little bottles and. Uh, That's been my argument for a while. Either either drink the vodka or run your phone. You get or a choice. Or just drink so much so you can talk into a brick and it doesn't matter. Exactly right. And that's going to be the nature of today's here. episode, ladies and gentlemen. Episode 371. Uh, it, it will be uh, floating around. It'll be spinning around in a circle. Uh, iPhone 5. Wait, wait, here's one. This is, I don't know who did this rundown, but Apple's timid. New iPod Nano sidesteps a smartwatch yeah. revolution. This must be Chad. Well, you want to talk about it? No, go ahead. Go well, ahead. what they did was, you know, I mean, they had this great form factor for the for the Nano, where and and where everybody was making uh, watch Watches bands them, about yeah. it. And right. so they what they what did they do? They changed. It what did they to do? Like that? this vertical. It was really you know, cool. They hate this it rectangular. When have fun, uh, don't you know? I don't know why they. They did hate it. it when people have fun. She yeah, says. Yeah. They do. 
Well, well when it's it's used for something that they didn't intend, like what was it a what camera app was using the volume keys as a phone camera trigger, and they got it shut down because they were using the hardware I in an unintended that vaguely. way. Yeah, yeah, that was Camera Plus, and so I think it was just an unintended use of the hardware, and they hate it when people do that. iPhone five won't yeah, support robust. simultaneous voice and data on yeah. Verizon or Sprint. Well, this is nothing new. I mean, LTE. Yeah, that's the way it was done. Um, Again, no I mean, fun. LTE is basically, you know, it's a da it's data only. It's packet switching. It doesn't do voice. And this is one of the problems that they thought originally is that it would use up too much battery because you'd have to have all two radios running. And, and with a dynamic antenna, it'd be problems. So, But apparently, they've gotten around it. But it's, here's the thing, John. I mean, how many times do you want to talk and look up something on the phone anyway? And even if you did, you'd have to be using either a speakerphone or... I have enough trouble with a regular old-fashioned phone that has the buttons on the handle, uh -huh. and it says if you have uh, if you want to do this, press three, and so you you have to pull it on push three, and then it says something. What 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 what? <laughs> what you mean? And so then it says oh, what what what? And so then you just push something. It says no 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 no, that's wrong. That's you wrong. want to do? And then you have to go back to the menus again. Okay, press. If you want to do something, press three. Okay. Yeah. Uh, three. <laughs> what what? Yeah. yeah. I know that's well. The problem. phone is worse. John, you might yeah. want to go back to the one that. Dials that probably work. I, if they had them for sale, but they, you know, they killed the whole dial thing. Yeah, I know. You know they, they don't have. work anymore. The rotary phones don't work anymore? No. On most switches, yeah. Um, no, they don't. Damn. Yeah. Analog. Okay. I actually have an old Bakelite one. Do you? Yeah, a big clunker. And it has a lar really loud bell. Mm -hmm. Ring. And it's Bakelite. It's they should go back. This is what they should be doing. They, we need an iPhone made out of Bakelite. Oh, the hipsters go. love that stuff. It would go over like hockey. You would, would have a line around the block for that. You would. Bakelite. Yeah. A Bakelite uh, cell phone. Let's send a note to the Apple design team. <laughs> yeah, we, iPhone 6, we've Bakelite. done it here. But, you know, before I forget about it, John, you know that they just, uh, Apple just celebrated the 25th anniversary of the HyperCard? You remember HyperCard? I think there's some, there's <laughs> a bunch, I think it's the Mexican Revolution anniversary, too. <laughs> yeah, I think well, today. And it's Jolie's birthday. Oh, that's right. I so remember the HyperCard. Happy yeah. birthday. Thank you. Well, they had an event in uh, in Berkeley. Uh, they uh, did a little while ago, uh, where Bill Atkinson came and talked about reminisced. Ooh, would about they have a big Hypercard audience? Had like somebody they showed had a up. A lot of people. People are still using HyperCard, believe it or not. And uh, but uh, speaking of apps, um, uh, Bill Atkinson. You know who Bill Atkinson is, yeah. of course, right? I mean, the, everybody knows. Everybody who, knows yeah. Bill Atkinson. Is. And he's also a big camera fanatic now. So he has this very cool app. He's talking about his app called Photo Card. Have you seen this? No. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Is, no, uh, no. Well, so so. So Bill, you know, I mean, he's very meticulous and pays a lot of attention to detail. So it's this app basically uses, you can either use his nature photos or your own photos and create a laminated postcard. He'll put the postage on it. And, okay. Uh, very nice. It's actually very cool. You should check it out. It sounds... Next time you go on a vacation. You we can are checking it. it out. Oh, you're checking it out. There yeah. you go. Yeah, there we have it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, That's fascinating. <laughs> I'm tell. glad you brought that up. I can tell up. you're fascinated. Yeah. <laughs> Good work, Bill. Yeah, right. Yeah. Apple's $30 lightning adapter won't support iPod controls. Well. Now they're just screwing with you. Okay. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> well. <laughs> Actually, you want me to talk about that? Yeah, if you well, got, you can want to talk about everything. Well, apparently, sorry, I'm just fine. I know you've always. I'm the only one that read the. I'm the only one that got. I'm only one that got the list of topics at 10:30 last let night and didn't have anything better to do let than me, read the articles. Let me give a little background on this guy, since you don't know who he is. Uh, he's been I, ever since we started doing X3. He keeps saying, "Get me on Leo's show. Get yeah. me on Leo's show." So I got the host job for this week, and then I said, "Okay, I got you on Leo's show." Unfortunately, Leo's not here, yeah, well, okay. and I see some people in the chat room complaining already about that. But that's okay. So tell us about this. So, uh, so you know, they went from thirty pins to you know what is it, eight pins. And one of the things they did was they removed an analog out. You know, only need four pins to do anything. By well, the way, because you, you can actually. So now the, the fact that you can plug it in upside down, I guess, I don't know if it requires more pins or fewer pins. But, but anyway, they, so they used to have an analog out pin, but they went all digital. So now, with, you know, that little adapter is actually, I mean, the reason, one of the reasons why it's so expensive is because it actually has a analog digital out. to analog converter in it. So it's got active in circuitry it. in the little adapter mm. that then supplies an analog out. But you still, it looks like there's still going to be problems. So you'll be able to play something through your dock or your car, but you you might not be able to control it. Oh, through the car. Yeah, through the car. So that's the hitch, which well, I think sucks. is kind of a drag, yeah. You want to be able yeah, to control a thing kind of with the buttons, you know, all these that's things on the car. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 
Well, supposedly the iPod connectors didn't change, though, right? Uh, Only the iPhone connectors. Not yet, no. Yeah. But everything will change eventually. Huh. And it, you know, it's now called we, lightning too. We know, yeah, we need everything to is like thunderbolt, lightning, lightning, fire. Yeah. Well, they tried to take thunderbolt from Intel, and Intel said, "Yeah, no, you're not doing that." Yeah. So it's so. And you say they're back. making these things for women? I don't know. <laughs> That's interesting. He they're said that. I didn't say. I thought we making them for women. I'm not saying we understand own, women. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. That's interesting because I, I sense there's a feud going on between Apple and Intel, and uh, oh well, it's been going on for a while. Ever since Apple signaled they might go to ARM for the PCs, they haven't been all that close. Yeah, interesting. You know, have to look into that. Are there Intel chips in the new iPhones? Or did I make that up? You did. I did. No. Yeah, it's yes, a, it's, it's, a, it's the A5 a, from uh, a6, ARM. That's a, or is it A6? It's A6. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's right. a it's a it's a it's a redesigned ARM. I mean, it's a. Well, why don't you explain Apple. how that works to people? Yes, uh, you license the ARM technology from the ARM consortium, and then you have a design group that builds a chip, or you buy the chip from somebody that builds it, like a like a Qualcomm or a Nvidia or a Marvell, and uh, and that's how you get the ARM part. But they're but they're all and same basic have, core technology and, and slightly modified. And then you have to have somebody make it. Yeah, it's got to go to a fab. Somebody's got to have it. So they're fab. having it made by Samsung, which is the irony here, right? Yeah, because they're suing the crud out of them. Yeah, you figure that's not going to last very long. But Samsung's one of the one of the better fabs for this uh, part. So as they separate, we're probably going to see some issues with their... Uh, oh, I know what I was thinking of. Motorola is doing an Intel chip phone that's coming out in two days. Yeah, well, it's a Medfield. Actually, it's called... It's, it, Atom, right. it's an Atom low power Atom processor. Well, there've been right. several out though. We've had, yeah. we've had, there've been two out in Russia. Uh, uh, Lenovo just did one in uh, China. Now that's a man's phone. It's big. It's thick. It's built like a. It's built like a ThinkPad. You could drop it. It won't break. It's uh. It, you measure you measure the megahertz in, in triple digits. It's it's uh, probably <sighs> warm your coffee. It's it's a that's a, it's a guy's phone. I just want to get a butch lesbian in here with you to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you'd probably beat the crud out of That'd be mm -hmm. fun to see. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can run faster. Well, probably, maybe not. <laughs> iPhone 5, not. I'm just reading from this thing for anyone wanting to know where I'm getting this stuff. iPhone 5, because, you know, I, I've got columns I could talk about. There's all the kinds of things, different directions we can go, but let's get this out of the way iPhone 5, because everybody wants to hear about this stupid phone. Well, what do you think about the iPhone 5? I don't we think it's a big opinion. deal. Well, you want to hear my opinion? Yeah. Let's see. I think I have a column on PC <laughs> Mag. To, Apple's see, not funny. so... What a coincidence. Yeah. He happens to have a column. I on. write a lot of columns. <laughs> I know you do. Apple's not so new iPhone. Not so new. Now, I, I praised it. Mm -hmm. I praised the phone. If that's Did you? praise, I come here to I'd praise to the iPhone. Not to... Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's total praise. I was uh, people said, oh, you know, he's going to say bad things because he hates Apple. Um, let me start with this. I'm going to read okay. from this column. Let's okay. The iPhone 5 is the best iPhone produced yet. That's a stretch. Of course. <laughs> Thin is fastest. <laughs> it's bigger, brighter, faster, <laughs> and cooler than the rest of the lot. But so what is when I uh, finish mm. that sentence, kind of. It's just an incremental improvement on the iPhone 4S and even on the original iPhone for that matter. And then I go on with the, uh, how Apple's painted itself into a corner and really can't veer too far. And I, my assertion in this column is that Apple should have some parallel development going on like they've had with all their other products. You there know. is no parallel iPhone development that well, I know they, of. That you know. I think we all, especially us in this room, have a bit of smartphone ennui, if I may say so. Nothing's going to impress us too much. And that's why Google... Uh, is putting so much emphasis on the half-baked Google Glass idea because that is not boring. That is not iterative. It's a step in a new direction with a new kind of device. And I think Apple probably is doing R&D in the same areas. And then they'll come out with that. And that we can call revolutionary and thinner and faster and gorgeous and whatever. As we but, all um, walk into poles and run into other cars. Yeah, and I think we Westerners especially are just kind of burnt out on smartphones. Like, oh, and just and bigger and faster. Great, you know, I, I cool. Was, I don't care. I've always got a kick out of the, uh, if you w remember back, uh, around 1998, when it, when all this, all these foreign countries, uh, uh, from Holland to especially the Japanese, they would get these phones over here and say, "Oh, look what we got! The Docomo phone, very good." And they show all these fancy little moving yeah, icons. Look at this, you losers in the United States! Don't even know what a good phone is, losers. And they would yeah. really ride us a lot. And then all of a sudden, this the, the iPhone comes out, and everybody's behind the eight ball. We just took over the place again. Yeah. I think we have that ability. Americans? or Yeah, Americans. I think we have the ability to, to take over the place when we feel like it. We didn't feel like it. Oh. That's right. <laughs> wait till it was right. So as you were saying, you think, you think it's cooler, but nothing revolutionary. Don't you think? 
Yeah, but I think it's got and, a and lot And the thing of... is, a, a lot of people are like you. They've, <laughs> they've said the same thing like to you. me that you just said earlier, uh -huh. which is, well, you know, uh, I wish I didn't have my contract. I'd get the new one right away. Because a lot of people went out and bought the 4S immediately. Mm -hmm. Right. And they got in the line. They did the whole thing. But nobody seems to be lining up for this 5. Yeah. Well, they will by then. Maybe. Yeah. If Apple has to hire models and stunt doubles to stand in a line, they will. They there will, will be that. a line. I agree. There they will, will have. They will have. They will have shills in the line. So that's it. That's your opinion on the new iPhone. Yeah, that's okay. not very deep. Sticking to it. Yeah, it's just kind of a shallow opinion. Yeah. I, don't really I think care. everyone's opinion on the iPhone five is. Eh. On week. <laughs> Apple on iPhone five demand, quote unquote. We've been completely blown away. <laughs> what bull crap. You know, they could say that whether it was really up or really down. It just yeah, means that it doesn't it's mean anything. well away from expectations. Thoughts and observation regarding yesterday's iPhone 5 and music event. Mm. Anyone have any thoughts? There was a band. There was a band. There. The Foo Grohl, Fighters. The that was Foo that Fighters. God bless them. Just taking that corporate money. You know, that they're in that age group, though, because Red Hot Chili Peppers are playing at Dreamforce. Metallica played at what was the last big tech conference. They're and they're back. in that age group. Yeah. They're getting Metallica older. should be Dave booed Grohl off the stage. Aging. Well, I yeah. because of their uh, MP3 attitudes in the early days. It is funny to have them at a digital event, isn't it? Right. Yes, it's quite ironic. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of they were kind of the one more thing. I mean, there really was no one there more was no thing one at that. Yeah. Is, is that thing, yeah. we're all sitting. In fact, I went back a couple hours after the event. There were so reporters out, outside, and I said, you know, the one more thing, it's not coming. Yeah. You can go home now. Speaking yeah. of one more thing, you know, the one more thing, I was I was sorry to see that they didn't include. And I know you're wild about this. Is NFC. Oh, yeah. God. They, they, should do, they, they did tell the public what, Tell them what you think NFC stands for. <laughs> I can't say that on the air. Well, you can say nobody effing cares. <laughs> nobody effing cares. Yeah. But, but it's I also, personally disagree. I, I think it's... I, you're I, just going to be a slave <laughs> when they get these things working, and you won't be able to... You'll, they'll just be tracking everything you do. No, I think no, the no. NFC is the worst. You, work. you, you can pay by cash. You feature phone. You can buy things with cash money. So here's the thing that that people don't understand. See, I just had it added to my look phone. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. This is disgusting. Oh, you can get a look at this. What is He's okay, got a so credit card. Here's another NFC. NFC. So it's Rob's, Rob's, Rob's going to oh, back God, me up Bob, on this. What if somebody stole your phone? I go right to go right to the bank. I start taking out as much well, money as I can. It's useful to steal my phone. Throw the phone into the right into the. It's a collector's uh, item. I throw the phone right into the street into a busy street. Hope somebody runs over it. Yes. So, so here's the thing this that people don't. This is a Delphi. This is a collector's <laughs> item. That's what I just said. It's, he's wow. got it's one of his Carbon five phones that he back. has in his pocket. I remember when this came out. Yeah, it's my still my favorite phone. Wow, what a clunker! <laughs> yeah, shut up. Aww. No, don't you think? Well, but, come on, it's a but, clunker. But see, that's oh, the part I like. That is see, nice. I love, yeah, I, no love, is... I love my keyboard. Huh? I do love. I actually kind of like this phone. Enter your password. One, two, three, four. Oh, nice the, guess. I'm John's not that using easy. A smudge okay, technique. Let me, let me try a smudge nah, technique. It's hard to tell. You can see it's, it's over. It's like one, two, three, six, maybe. No. Okay. no. Let's try one, two, three, Appreciate nine. You Appreciate you doing that on the air. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Try you know how he does that, right? Yeah. He looks for the oil, the, yeah, no, the smudgy marks on the phone. Of course, he's not even uh, okay. close, so we're all right. So, have but we anyway. fulfilled our iPhone 5 discussion <laughs> obligation for the day? I hope so. Let me just finish on another thing. One more thing. And I think Rob will back me up on this, but and this is what you never hear people talking about is that it's NFC can provide so much more than just contactless payment, and yeah. and this is the thing that people don't understand <laughs> is that you could use it for getting information about anything. I could tap anything in this room, huh? and if it has a tag on it, it would give me wow. information about it. Huh. So, so, it's not, it's so in other words, like for example, this this <laughs> I wine, could tap this bottle of wine, you yeah. tap the bottle of wine, and instead of having to go through the horrid process of reading the label. Or having to talk to somebody. God well, but the nice it. thing for us, you can actually make it larger. So we yeah. can't read the label right. and can't find our glasses. Those uh -huh. those of us that need glasses can expand it on our phone, which yeah. is once again why I need a screen that's this big and not that big so I can But I, But I did hear sort of uh, that, that Apple w might have included NFC, but they ran out of corners <laughs> on the phone. So... They only have four corners to put antennas in, and, and, and they ran. They had five quarters. If they had, yeah, they if they had, had the fifth it, yeah. corner, they might have. Yeah, uh, they should have. Well, okay, we'll take a break right now and go to. Uh, I guess it's the go-to-meeting uh, advertisement with uh, Leo Laporte. who will be uh, in magically reappear to uh, talk about go-to-meeting. Be right back. Oh, hi, John. I'm just uh, painting my uh, my face uh, red and gold for the game you know i'm not here because i am on my way to uh candlestick park home of the san francisco 49ers 
to watch us uh, beat up on the uh, Detroit Lions. But I've come back via the miracle of technology to tell you a little bit about our friends at Citrix. And go to meeting. Go to meeting now has HD faces. So if somebody, <laughs> if you're doing a sales call, uh, I just, I read it. I'm going to pull this up again. There's a great article I just read about a, a psych study uh, that the Cornell uh, did recently that was just fascinating about um, how we decide whether we trust somebody or not. Let me see if I can pull this up again. Uh, it was something like um, robots and uh, how you can trust a robot. It was in the New York Times. I'm, I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to show you. Times trust robots. <laughs> <laughs> Who is trust? This is it worked. That was a good search. Who is trustworthy? A robot can help us. Here's the here's the story right here. Let me scroll up. So the deal is, they did this study, and it's complicated how they did it and all that stuff. But essentially, uh, what what it came down to is they um, got some college kids uh, to meet in person, and they f and then play a game that required trusting your partner or not trusting your partner, making decisions about how, depending on how much you trusted them. But the key was, that I thought was very interesting, they said, a person's ability to predict what their partner was going to do was far greater face-to-face -face than online. Apparently, and they were able to kind of narrow it down, there are cues for specific gestures that predict whether a person is less trustworthy. Leaning away from someone, crossing arms in a blocking fashion, Touching, rubbing, or grasping hands together and touching oneself on the face, abdomen, or other <laughs> like this. So, but here's the point. When you see somebody face to face, you can make decisions and judgments about uh, how trustworthy they are or how untrustworthy they are. People make decisions based on face to face meetings. They tried the same thing using instant messenger, introducing the people. They had no clues. They were able, to, and and then they tried it with robots, and they found out that if robots leaned back or touched, even even that indicated the robot itself was less trustworthy. So this is a long way around to talk about go to meeting with HD faces. So we've we've talked about go to meeting before. It's the online meeting solution from Citrix. Let's just share screens and do training or presentations, sales, that kind of thing. But now they've got HD faces. You can you can turn on a webcam, and they'll see you, and you'll see them, and the the point I was making is how important this is for making decisions about the trustworthiness. If you're doing a sales pitch, HD faces is huge. You can see how your client's reacting to you. You can see how, you know, your client can see whether they trust you can make decisions. It's just fantastic. And they've done such a good job. I, you know, this has been around for a while. You could spend $20,000 for a big expensive video conferencing system, but now you can do it with code meeting for $49 a month for as many meetings as you want as long as you want and the HD faces is so cool it's great video you can even attend your, your meeting here let me whoops the video stream is currently unavailable oh well I guess there's too many people trying it out right now here's what you do visit go to meeting.com it works on an iPad by the way the camera on the iPad uh, and even the audio and video and the microphone on the uh, on the iPad can be used to go to a meeting. You hold a meeting from a Mac or a PC, but you can attend a meeting from a variety of devices, including uh, an iPhone, an iPad, an Android device. Here's your deal. Go to the website. Go to meeting.com. Click this orange Try It Free button, and I want you to enter in the promo code TWIT, and you can try this for... Th Oops, didn't do it right. T-W-I-T, -T, and you can try it for free for 30 days. I'm telling you, this is a great way to meet, to collaborate, to train. Go to meeting.com and the promo code is TWIT. All right. I, I, I still have to put on my silver, uh, what is it, gold and, I don't want to do silver and black, right? That's a bad one. I want to do gold and red. Okay. And maybe I can get some grease paint for under the eyes because I'm ready for a football game. Now we send it back to John, Jolie, and the gang and more TWIT. And good luck, Leo, with the uh, with that Lions game. That's the team that the uh, that the coach of the Niners snubbed. The other coach last year he wouldn't shake his hand, and it almost threw him to the ground. And the coach came running after him and saying, "Hey, you son of a gun!" And so this is going to be a very interesting Ooh, game. Match. I wouldn't go to this game personally. <laughs> Not a lot of chance you're going to make it. So if you can even get it, get, yeah, I'd go into a rant about professional football. 
Google says no to do not track option coming to Chrome by end of year. No, it says do not track option. Google says do not track option. Oh, I'll Rest get it eventually. World says about <laughs> they say that they're going to add a do not track option. Anybody were, think this is were, a big deal? They, they were a little have done slow. This a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. This okay, was a big deal. It. Two years ago was it? Everyone started talking about it. Mozilla led the conversation, of course. That's right. And then Microsoft followed, and Google kind of missed a meeting. Yeah. So nice to see them finally catch up. Mm. Okay, that's the end of that topic. Google rejects White House request. Oh, this is an actually a very interesting. Yeah. Uh, I actually wanted to talk about this on the No Agenda yeah. show earlier. Google rejects White House request to pull Mohammed film clip, which is supposedly calling all, causing all these problems around the world. So here's the question I have. Yeah. They will Maybe if they had, uh, what's his name from Viacom, ask him to pull the clip, they would have no. pulled it. No, it's, a, it's, a bad, it's a bad what's idea. What's his name? Sumner Redstone. If he would have made a call, boom, they would have pulled it. But you, you, you don't, you don't, but now they're not pulling you it. Don't, you don't respond to violence. If you respond to violence, then it's a, it's a cause and effect. The next person that's killed to get you to do something is your fault. So you never respond to violence. It, you don't reward this behavior. So once they killed somebody, they, they can't pull this clip. They can be ordered to do it, but they can't do it themselves. And you know how hard it is to get Google's attention. Where are you attention? getting this, this kind of no, theory? No, it's the same. It's the, it's the, it's, this is from, like, the, is this military-industrial complex <laughs> stuff? Is this like some something you learn at a CIA my, training my, camp? My, my What's the deal? law enforcement passes, passes come back. But it's the same reason you don't pay, uh, pay ransoms is once you do it, you put a price in everybody's head. It just says... Okay, you're willing to pay three million dollars for that person, so we want three million dollars. You'll sell another member of your family. So the so same reason here. If you want to get a, a, a Google's attention, and they pulled this, then it means that Google would respond to this kind of thing. And so the next country that kills off a either a, a Google employee or or a, a diplomat um, to get Google to do something, it becomes Google's fault. So their best bet is not to do anything. Make sure it's clear that this particular behavior doesn't work. If they want something, why right, isn't the government right. thinking like this? Why is it up to Google? Well, you give people. Google so much crap for complying with these things, and you call it like, oh, police actions. I remember when we've had these conversations before about Google responding to police requests to remove yep. items, and you criticize them for removing it. Now you're criticizing them for not removing it, sir? It's interesting she'd make this assertion. <laughs> no, I'm not really criticizing them. I'm just really? saying... That Google is quick to remove stuff when Sumner Redstone asks for it, but when the, our own U.S. government makes a simple request, they say no. And like you just said, yeah, the police make the yes request and, no and they say all yes. The time. Well, it depends on so, what they're asking for. I think they do take it on a case by case basis. Well, whatever the case is, you can go watch this clip. It's crappy. <laughs> by the way, you can also see pictures of the, uh, what's her name, uh, Middleton with no top on and. Uh, no. Don't go there, John. You want yeah. to go there? Yeah. But I don't want to see her with no top on. She doesn't look like she's got much on top anyhow. She looks okay. If well, I could I'm pick so someone to see with no top that. on, it I am be just so glad. Yeah, really. Anyway. So you did get, I just see you pour uh, mineral water into your wine? Yeah. yeah it's, it's, a it's now, now bubbly wine. Look, <laughs> notice, by the way, this is a tip for you wine drinkers out there. If you go to parties, you really look. I, this is like now two thirds water, right? Right. Looks like regular wine. Yeah, I can drink this halfway down and pour in another two thirds. It still looks. It, the, they've used these. They use a lot of. Besides having over too much color in the wine nowadays, they also use something called mega purple. And you could use like just a few drops of this stuff, and you could fill it up with water, and it looks like a glass of wine. And so you can go around the party looking like you're drinking a lot and keeping the point up. Point of that is. Well, that, being able to drive home, yeah, maybe that's good one point. good point. <laughs> or also, you know, getting other people drunk, and then you can... And also, when you say something silly, you can blame it on the alcohol, yeah, sure. even if it ha haven't okay. had enough to drink. Yes, anyway. Yes. yes, I was pouring... I pour water in my wine when I... Here. Okay, so the clip is not going to be pulled. Did you guys watch this movie? No. I didn't, no. Have you watched it? No, I didn't. Nobody's watched this movie. We have jobs. Well, it's, no, the, the I'm, movie I'm pretty, sucks. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure somebody watched that clip. No, I'm not so sure. Uh, Google... 500 million, this is with Google News. 500 million Android devices activated. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Google, nice stat. Google, well, fiber, yes, that one. <laughs> Google Fiber is coming to 90% yeah. of eligible Kansas City yeah, neighborhoods. Kansas? That's yeah. just nice. Well, they, they I find picked it, annoying. it out of a hat, honestly. Yeah. I really? doubt it. Okay. Yes, they did. There was a, a competition a year ago, two years mm -hmm. ago. Uh, where a bunch of cities were competing to be the first town with Google Fiber, aside from, what, a small enclave in Mountain View, I think. Yeah. And so Kansas City won. How they won, I don't know. Didn't they but rename yeah, something been, Google? I think they did. I think they, I thought they renamed something they Google. They really something kissed else. the old booty Google right butt, there. Yeah. 
So, um, yeah, then they've been doing surveying down there and they've been doing prep work and construction. And finally, it's they're flipping switches. Because what we need is connected cows. That is what we need. Because that's what Kansas has. Yeah. Lots yeah. and lots of cows. Well, in addition to the cows, they're going to have crazy a pretty, little pretty fast uh, internet access. And Darn straight. And $70 a month. Uh, so. Do you, does anybody think that this is like, uh, is this Google like trying to chide the big carriers or anybody else to like, come on, step this Annie here? Because well, there's a big benefit to Google to have high yeah, speed everywhere. Carriers or you mean the uh, cable operators? B uh, yeah, both. Yeah, I mean, so if you're going to get all your, everything you ever need in your home through this one connection, then who needs Comcast and who needs AT&T? Well, that's right? it. You well, do break, you think Google is angling dynamic. to become an ISP? Well, That's a well, lot of responsibility well, they've got, and a they've lot got, of customers. They've got the largest dark fiber um, complex they in do. the country. They, yeah, they, they bought up all that, that yeah. dark dark fiber. So right. They've got one of the strongest backbones in the country. So they could do something really interesting. Well, it's interesting more profitable here. for them to lease that out, isn't it? Or use it themselves. Yeah. They've always mm -hmm. wanted to provide this stuff for free and get, a, well, get back they, advertising. Pretty much right. get everybody out of, right, right. Out of business and yeah. step in and take over for and, and don't they need it as a defensive mechanism because they were worried sick that uh, AT and T and these other guys are going to like double That's charge right. them for like oh if you're going to neutrality use, or or set yeah. up or set up their own search yeah mechanism and, and go after ads. Right. I don't really think Google cares if AT and T double charges anybody that that is no advantage to them or competitive advantage to them. No, but Google doesn't want to pay more money. That's true. Google doesn't want to pay AT and T more money. Right. Uh, yeah, double charge Google, I think. Is yeah, the, the double was, charge Google. Yeah, Google was going to get gouged. The guy from AT and T came out and made a public statement about, oh, you know, these guys have got a free ride on our back. Mm -hmm. And then the Google guy said, that. "What are you talking about? We're paying a fortune to even yeah. be on the network." Yeah. The guy is an idiot. That's the reason. <laughs> from AT and T, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. So but anyway, what you really think, John? Yeah. <laughs> So that guy, He's not so the to dinner tonight. We know so the that. Google, well, you haven't invited me so far. Right. So anyway, so the Google guy say, well, this is not good. What if this? Because they have to plan. You know, this is a multi-billion-dollar company. They got to have contingency plans. Yeah. I have an idea. Let's just buy up all the dark fiber, and if yeah. these guys do that, we'll just roll it out. Yeah. Well, kind of. And now, meanwhile, they can be practicing in Kansas City how to run an ISP yeah. and see what the problems are set up to. Because they, you know, they have the right. call centers and all the rest yeah. of it. So Google may be. This may be a stepping stone. Yeah. Now everything is up to date in Kansas City. And for Kansas City, <laughs> it's, it's it's always nice to be a practice city. We'll just pray for Musical those guys. Musical jokes. <laughs> yes. Well, we can you do that one again? <laughs> Jolie liked it. Yeah, yeah she like did. It. Well, she's, she's easy. Yeah. Do you want to sing, John? <laughs> no, I don't sing. I want to say that on the net. <laughs> if you can internet talk, you either. can sing. Uh -huh. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They say if you can talk, you can sing. Yeah. Uh, Germany's like former first lady sues Google for defamation over yeah, autocomplete suggestions. <laughs> I should be suing them then. I've got some weird stuff. What that comes up like with no. dork. auto completes with your name? Dork. <laughs> dork. I have no problem with Google, but I went on Bing the other day. I was supposed to be doing some research for work for searching for my LinkedIn profile from Bing. Mm -hmm. But I typed in you Jolie on Odell. Bing? The search engine? You know the other one. You use that? Really? No, Seriously? No, it was for work. It was for research. Oh. I'm trying to tell you a story. Okay, okay we'll continue. So I type in Jolie O'Dell, and then Bing says, annoying and arrogant. And I was like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Really? Took the hint, Microsoft. So yeah. my thing is annoying Mrs. and arrogant. Germany. Well, annoying maybe, if but arrogant. I don't like, see it. <laughs> yeah, there Look, she goes. Look, if you're she not paying me, see, I she, don't care. She John. bristles when you when you do something like no, that. No, I really I don't care. So see? I was a little <laughs> bit butthurt. Some difference. Yes. <laughs> I was a little bit butthurt, but I can't sue Bing. Can I sue Bing? No, you can't sue Bing. You can't sue well, people. Well, the Chancellor of Germany is about, about to online. sue uh, Google. Well, Middleton's right. going to sue Well, somebody. I think it's it's silly and frivolous, and I don't think that you can hate Who on a search engine by for the way, recognizing that by people By the way, you're the sweetest person. Or, we've, I've, oh, I've, one of the no, sweetest I person I know. annoying. I'm deeply annoying. Well, then why are you mad when My I say it? My fiance can tell you if you want to double check. Sweetheart, am I annoying? I love you, he's, too. Yeah. Yes, I am. He yeah. says he's not answering the question for you're, some you're reason. You're kind of screwed if you answer that one, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, it's like Either a bad way, question. It's like, is my butt or... too big? I mean, why don't you ask him that? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So, no, I, I don't think she has As much we're moving right, right along. Well, you yes, didn't even say what, what comes up when, uh, when they Google her name. She, she did. Oh, it's yeah. annoying and aggravating yeah, yeah, her. Oh, no, the first lady? Well, that's... Yeah. Oh, the first but lady. But see, that's all programmatic. You can't it. sue Google over an algorithm. Sue all the people who are searching for you being a whatever it is that comes Well, it's up. an interesting, it's an interesting condition. Do. I mean, apparently there were a lot of rumors flying around that this woman was a former escort. All right, so there oh. was an, the wife of the, not uh, Merkel, but who else? who's the, um, what is it, Chancellor? I'm not sure, President? Mm. So, um... 
the wife of uh, somebody in in the top. So of, the in internet German thinks government. she's a hooker, exactly. and her so response that comes is, up. "Well, I'm going to sue the internet." Well, she's going to sue Fair Google, enough. but she'll Go probably get them. She'll probably is your name Raven? Is that Bambi? <laughs> Raven? Bambi? Destiny. Destiny. Not, not, uh, not one of the women you've used. It's, she was a. Uh, <laughs> they're available. You can go to uh, backpage.com. They're all over the place. The price is too high nowadays, the way I see it. <laughs> all righty. <laughs> John, be nice. It's her birthday. Yeah. Uh -oh. Happy birthday, Jolie. Thank you, sweetheart. I'm having a fabulous time. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. That's yes. Not are you gonna? Not what are you gonna do after the, yeah, yeah. after the show? After the show, stuck in traffic I'm just gonna on put the a way. bunch of candles on your head and set them on fire, saying "Happy birthday" to myself. I want to um, see that. I'm. Oh, he says we that have a special hat. It's you guys all up apparently, he says you don't know. He doesn't know what he's gonna do for you. He looks you like after. a deer in the headlights. Oh. Who is he? Off the camera. That is her. We're going to get married next oh, year. Beyonce. Next month. Yes. yes. Next, he's next also, month or next year? He's, next uh, month. This okay. next month, and he's her handler. Oh, uh, I see. Hey, and his, his eyes went, do you know you're getting married next month? Okay, just checking. A surprise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Google adds another cool to, tool to search the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Now, what is this? Okay, this is this is Apple's week, and Google knows it. So they're like, hey, we activated 500 Android handsets. Did y'all right. know? Well, hey, gonna, check it out. We can be as cool. Six degrees of they, Kevin Bacon. They couldn't Bacon. say thinnest and that, fastest. And <laughs> no. They're just letting this week slide on by. Of course, did yeah. you see Samsung's ad that's coming out? I think today. Yeah, well, everybody's already parroting it. Yes. Yeah. What? So no. what's, so you, did you go to IDF? I did. Was yeah. there. I was uh, on stage twice. What did they finally get you off the stage? I mean, yeah, did they yeah. have to remove you. A couple you? guys tackled me, drug me off. What can I say? It's but you got on twice. Good for you. <laughs> twice. What were you doing up there? Uh, I was involved with the Tomorrow Project. So the Tomorrow Project is Intel's project, looking off into the future, using science fiction to prototype what technology will be in the near and far future. It's a it's a lot of fun. So I didn't see that that Intel got any publicity for anything they did oh, yes. sitting on. T they did. Well, it depends well, really on what you read. Right, publications yeah. well, you read E.E. E. Times? <laughs> well, I used to. He reads okay. People. I read no, People. We wrote about I wrote it. We and did. Us. I us love Us the... Weekly. Star's just too yes. mean. Well, there was some very cool stuff that came out of IDEA. Yeah. Okay, what? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, aside from all the Haswell, you know, the new Haswell chip and the Medfields. I thought yeah. they were going to bring out the Hasben chip. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Intel is, you know, having some challenges now. I mean, but now they're they've got Windows 8 about to come out, and and they're running. They they announced Jelly Bean on uh, the Medfield chip. Yeah, Jelly Bean on the Medfield. But the, the coolest Google. thing that coolest thing that it actually was a, sort of the sleeper at uh, IDF was they announced that they had finally able to put radios, wireless radios, on the chip. Yeah. So because normally, you know, radio circuitry has a lot of analog components which are hard to put into silicon right so they actually did it well they completely reworked it so yeah. first first digital analog radio yeah so it's basically an entire wireless computer with the wi-fi built into the chip and it can imagine what possibilities that that i'm well, sure john you're i'm sure in your no, imagination well, i'm sure good. your imagination Somebody is just says like to me that i feign interest <laughs> Yes. I'm quite interested in this radio thing uh, that's put on a chip. Yeah, well, I know you are. So there yeah. were two interesting things uh, yeah. about it. The yeah. one, one was that was Pat Gelsinger a decade ago that got up in front of the same audience and said, mm -hmm. we will do this. And, and it was all their analog chip designers that had a coronary <laughs> the next day because that's... They said it couldn't be done. Yeah. Because, because ah, the, now the, it gets it, interesting. And so it took them a decade to figure it out and, yeah. and, and get it done. They actually did the impossible. The so other Mr. Thing was Computer kind of, of Tomorrow, what kind of sort of things is this going to make possible? Well, it's, it's going to make possible much smaller stuff. Yeah. I mean, intelligent like sensors. A computer and a ring. Place. Yep. Like the ring computer. <laughs> and, ring and we're, computer. Apple is working on that right and, now. You know, we're talking about the next iPhone. It could look could be the size of a, of a nano. It could be just tiny. Yeah. Of course, your fingers won't work on it. The display could be problematic. But well, we'll didn't work we have those that. in the It'll 90s? Still be little, amazing. Hello, yes. hello, little bitty teeny tiny phones. Yeah, they I had. The remember when the Star Trek actually... tech got this small? Yeah. Sure. The Star Trek what? The Star Tech from Star Motorola. It was oh. a little bitty thing. Yeah. And you could open it up and you it, you looked like a complete idiot using one of these. It things. It looked like a sex toy. It did not look like a grown up telephone. Huh. Sex. Well, I, I don't even want to think about those sex toys, but we'll move right along. Uh, the other thing that was cool, okay, well, the other thing was cool though, was when he came out, Justin Ratner had uh, bunny ears on. Remember that? Mm. That responded to his emotion. So that, so like. Uh, when was this? That was as he opened his talk. You it was the last one, talk John. at IDF. That's the one you can't miss. It's the one where they talk about the stuff that's coming. Yeah. I missed it. Yeah, it was. Well, it was a psychic head. Well, you look at him, and, and the, and the ears showed his emotions. 
I want it for Halloween. Oh, okay. Yeah, the smart bunny. <laughs> I missed this. Yeah, the smart bunny. Ears. How come this didn't get any publicity? Yep, I wrote well, it up. you know about this? I know. All we wrote about was the magic fingers part, speaking of sex toys. <laughs> what about it? No, I don't know. It's something about gestural control. Yes. Okay, yeah. tell us about that. But where you got to the, where you're working at, you know, one of the things they're doing is they're they're adopting uh, Connect from Microsoft to be able to work on a lot of devices. So, for instance, if you don't have a touch screen on your on your laptop, you add a Connect device, and you can do. Who gestures. wants a touch screen on their laptop? Well, well if you're the guy with it's the not tablet, a hybrid though. computer. If, if, this is the next big thing, thing, John. Not really. This, this is, is a the next tablet. Big, 2013 is going to be the year of the hybrid. I predict with Windows Windows, Windows 8. 8. The year of the hybrid. I think yeah, the Connect here. Windows okay, applications here. are very tight. And you know what? In retail, it makes so much sense to have an enormous monitor and have people come around and they can swipe their hands around and they can choose and pick and Intel learn and blah, 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 interact. Exactly right. Yeah, so for retail, there's a lot of use cases and also for accessibility and for learning and for people who have like little five-year-old hands and can't type yet. Uh, there are a lot of use cases for Connect for Windows or and other operating the, systems. And one of the best parts in all of that stuff, since you're not using things people actually touch or in a field, they don't break. They don't. I mean, you think about all the stuff you've seen in stores. Mm -hmm. You're going, hey, it's really cool. And the last three people broke it all apart. Yeah. With Connect, because you can seal it all in, there's a good chance that somebody, unless they get really creative, can't break it. And the germs. Germs. Yeah, Have germs. you seen this, uh, the product, you know, Leap Motion? Have you seen this? Yeah, little, the Leap thing. The that, Leap thing. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. This should be in someone. I don't know why no one has bought them like Apple. Probably because it doesn't work. Is that possible? I, they've seen people. I've never seen it myself, but people who have seen it in person yeah, they, yeah, they say, say it's it works. amazing. But it might right? work in the lab. You know how a lot of things a, work it's great a, when they're demoed. It's a super high resolution gesture right. display. So you can actually move your finger and have it do things on um, on the screen. So so why will you, so you may not even need a touch screen at some point if you have one of these little leap devices might be better because built in. The way these things fingerprint the the uh, not yeah. having to touch the screen could actually be better. Well, yeah. they've all got cameras in the front of them. They can probably track your eye motions as well. I mean, we need to start thinking much, much bigger about bunny these ears. kinds of things. <laughs> bunny, bunny ears. Bunny ears. Yeah, I don't know. Right. When I start to think about the future of interfaces and uh -huh. controlling, I always think about Star Trek. And, you know, when they had the games that you could control with your eye motions uh -huh. and all that. You're Brain looking waves. at me like I've gone off the deep end. <laughs> I'd like to know why they can't come up with a screen that is smudge proof. Yeah. What's the problem? Because then they couldn't sell then you, you screen be able cleaners. To, then you wouldn't be able to see their passwords. Because it's because it's glass. <laughs> yeah. By the way, this is the, yeah. the new Kindle. In case you missed that. The fire. Oh. This oh. is the new Kindle fire. Hands on with the fire. Yeah. Oh, is that the new new one? That's the new one. It's the yeah. brand new one. Mm -hmm. How come it's it like doesn't a baby come iPad. on? Well, because you haven't hit the button. I feel like we're in Space Odyssey. There's, right? a, yeah, there's a, a button around here somewhere. There's a button. No button. Did you write a column about this one, John? No, you didn't write a column about the fire? The Ultrabook. And you can figure out how to unlock this one. Yeah, you just go like this. Yeah, don't lose my place, please. You're is on page 71. No, you're on location. Se this is handy. You're on location 7192 of 13667 or 52% into the document. That's right. Halfway through the book. This looks pretty good. Yeah. What do you think? Give us your opinion. Mm, feels you, thin and fast. Do you have one of these uh, readers yet? <laughs> but is it revolutionary? Um, I read books with covers and paper and things. I really don't love any of the tablets that I've seen so far. I, I use one. I use an iPad. I play a game called Pocket Frogs as I'm falling asleep. It really lulls the mind into inactivity very well. Hmm. I, so I think they're great for children, but I don't have children. So don't Yet. need a tablet. Okay. Knocking on wood. He's over there hey. watching. He's actually given up on the show. Yeah, she, I don't blame she, him. She, she said she doesn't have children, she hopes. Yet, knocked on the table. So if you're pregnant. Yeah. Well, we already have an iPad, so <laughs> you're sad. good to go. All I need is a yeah. diaper bag. So anyways, so um, do you want to segue into uh, Microsoft? You know, they they have sure. to into this thing because um, actually, I don't know, did they do this at IDF? They announced, uh, for instance, Office 2013 yep. for RT. Yeah, and, yeah, well, that's that's all built into RT. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and RT's coming out. I mean, so this is going to be the next thing. So Apple had September. I think Microsoft has got to do it in October. Don't you think with... Uh, well, that's one's planned. Yeah, yeah, with Windows 8 and Windows RT and uh, and all these new slew of, you know, hybrid... So what do you think of what's going to happen with Windows 8? I think is people are going to gripe a lot about it. They're gripe. Gonna complain. They're going to complain a lot about it. But then, look at this is the, you know, this is the future. I mean, it's... 
you know, tiles and touch screens and it's not the future. It's I'm going to have to call bull crap. Tiles. On all I agree with that. Jolie on this. I think that one of the places that Windows is still the strongest is in the enterprise and in government and where people need to do work and they can't be bothered with all those consumer tiles and the slipping and the sliding and the fun. They need to get their work done and they need they still need a damn uh, keyboard and they need to have all their applications where they're used to them and I think that Windows 8 is going to get passed over by the enterprise and government and people who do work. And so far, the surveys have said, said exactly that. They're going to wait till Windows 9. But, the, but the, yeah. you know, everything going forward is going to have what used to be called Metro. So it's... I, I mean, it's, it's one thing to have your design language evolve. It's another thing to just wholesale scrap everything that working people love about your operating system. Yeah, it's it's yeah. never really worked well. Every t every yeah. time we change uh, a user interface dramatically, remember when, when OS X first came out, even though that wasn't a massive change, Sales cratered for a while. People just didn't like the change. And I mean, even Facebook changes something minor. The web goes viral with complaints about the changes. Even we just don't like change. And and this is a big change. Yeah. Mm, it is I mean, I like it. I actually use you it. You what? I, 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 I finally got used to it. It took me a you while. You like that? Big, so you have a big 26-inch monitor, and then boom, you get this huge app that just right. fills up the whole screen. Do you think PC. that's good? It's great two, on an all-in-one PC with a touchscreen. 227. Yeah. But, but, you, but you need a really good touchpad. Yeah. To make it work on a on a large monitor, you need a really yeah. good touchpad. Or connect for your Windows. Or yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'm waiting. I mean, in the future, fact, that man. That might be the way to work it. Is the, is the, especially with a multi screen. It's actually yeah. to connect. So. You know what? That would be fun. That I think would work for the enterprise or government. If you're in like Minority Report scenario, where you have all the monitors and you just swipe everything around, and it's yeah. not a burden anymore because you're not on a little touchpad. But the pad. thing that the thing that people forget too is that Microsoft has this relationship with the enterprise. I mean, they have sales people that are you know, already have connections there and they know how to talk, you know, bids and term, the terms I understand. Well, and they and they brought forward three large companies that just fell in love with Windows 8. But the funny thing is, is the one they fell in love with was actually Windows RT because they wanted it over the, the iPad. Pretty much the same? Not well, it's, in it, terms except, of the... Except, except you don't have that dual mode. It's You kind of live, and in, in Windows RT, you live in what used to be called Metro. You don't go back to the old interface. And then you position it against the iPad and it's all the stuff they kind of like in terms of compatibility, manageability, security, and the apps they want to use, like Office, Office. which doesn't really run on, on the iPad, uh, in a device. And, and the enterprises like that a lot. When it came to running it on a PC, they're kind of, they're, um, they're kind of yeah, we'll wait to Windows 9 and see what happens. But they've always been slow on new operating systems. I mean, they're, they're just now deploying Windows 7 in most cases. In fact, most of them are going to be deploying Windows 7 next year. So it's, it's, uh, they're always slow on a new OS. And I can't decide whether Microsoft is really sort of, you know, going to deliver something new and revolutionary or whether they're all, all Microsoft and all, and the HPs and the Dells and that whole, all the old giants are just going to sort of fade away into. Oh, the, I think they're doing okay. Yeah. I think they're keeping well, pace a lot better than Apple. They're not doing that great. I mean, HP and Dell and. Well, they were both off, but Lenovo's yeah. been going Lenovo's great. They've been growing, growing in, in, uh, in a number of markets. Though. I think this is the first time I'm seeing more PCs at the table than Max. This is a Mac? This is a MacBook. This is a PC. Yeah. If it was my machine, it would be a PC, probably. He's got some sort of Toshiba. What is that thing? We are the wrong old, actually, Is that a netbook? <laughs> Did you bring out a brought in a netbook? I, I hope you wouldn't point that out, John. It's a netbook. Wow. What's it oh my running? God. What OS do you have? Uh, it's the one running 7, but 7 oh, okay. starter, sort of, which yeah. is kind of a lame so operating system. In, yeah. Yeah. And he, you running uh, the Kindle. Because yeah, I was reading on the way. Yeah. And uh, you've got what? I have this little bitty Ultrabook. It's an Asus. Ultrabook from Ultrabook, yeah. Asus. Running Windows 7. And I like it. Okay. Yeah. Yes, so, wow, nice. we got way off script here, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Leo's going to get so Yeah, mad. all the time. Yeah. Uh, unless Tom Merritt's running the show. Now, there's a guy who stays on script. I've does worked it. with him. Yeah, he's, he's not like me. He's actually does, he actually does he some. He actually reads the script? He doesn't work. He yeah. actually keeps to the script. Usually when Leo's doing the show, I'm always chiding him because he goes off topic. Uh -huh. And so I make him get back on topic. So I'm going to do that to myself. Get back on topic. Twitter hires elite Apple hacker Charlie Miller. Charlie Miller. Well, how is you this guy him? an elite? Do you know him? He I don't was know. the first you know him? one you to hack him. the Air, the MacBook Air. He has been a thorn in Apple's side, and they wouldn't hire him. They never contacted him. They never made an offer You ever to met him. the guy? I have emailed with him, uh -huh. but not at length. You actually... Answered an email? He actually answered an email. Huh. Yeah. I love the hackers. So. You heard that, ladies and gentlemen, on this I show. I surely do. Please don't hack me. So, um, yeah, no, Charlie Miller 
is is kind of a rock star when it comes to hacking. So what is, what does Twitter want with him? Well, they already bought up the Android uh, hacker shop called Whisper was Whisper Labs, something mm. like that. Whisper, and they already hired them, and they're hiring this guy. And uh, they need to hire these people before they have a security problem, like a big security problem. Like Facebook has big security problems, and they have a Not huge team of white hack white ha hackers that work mm. there and that work on people who are getting fished and that, um, you know, people whose, whose accounts are getting taken over and Twitter is starting to need those kinds of people on their team too before they have a Makes big Makes sense. Problem. I guess she's explained she's, it. She's up the ante on this con yeah, conversation. Yeah, speaking of hackers, um, do you want to talk at all about GoDaddy? What about GoDaddy? Yeah, well, let's know, talk they, about GoDaddy. Go okay. ahead. I don't want to talk. You talk you about Well, I mean, it. there was, you know, on, uh, when was it, last weekend or they... You know, the basically GoDaddy went down, or at least the DNS went down, yes. and uh, you know, for a couple, quite a few hours, quite a few hours, yeah. and and apparently there was so, first somebody from Anonymous claimed that they brought it down, and then later in the week, GoDaddy said no, it was a router that failed, failed. or something, and it, but the interesting thing about That's that story is that everybody sort of bought into the idea that you know a hacker would have taken them down because. GoDaddy has this reputation. I mean, the pre for being, you know, sexist, anti-soap or pro-sopa. You know, the elephant president hunting. shoots the elephant. Oh, that was such yeah. a So great everybody story. sort of accepted that this guy, that that you know, GoDaddy is, is such an unlikable company that you know that know. they could buy into the being hacked. <laughs> I think it's getting to the point where, like, a terrorist bombing happens, and then all the terrorists want to claim that event. It's becoming the same way with Anonymous. Yeah. So what do you think about Microsoft becoming the International Police Department? Good. And well, for you really? We were taking down the uh, spammers the and the... Uh, yeah, but why is it... Why, what's wrong with why our... Why isn't the government doing Yes, you're right. Yeah, I mean, the government is... For the story last week, Some apparently some kid had done a video... Uh, well, Ron Paul video and the FBI is knocking on his door and at investigating this poor kid for doing his you know his eighth grade. So they put a bunch of resources at it. Meanwhile, these these international horrible international operations which should be Big busted. Yep. Why is Microsoft have to become the world's police force to, to crack because the that government's not doing it? I'm reminded of this. Wait, how does Microsoft profit from it? That's the question you always have to ask when a corporation does something that doesn't make sense. You follow the money. How do they benefit? There's profit. Well, they for believe. Them somewhere. Well, it's. It, I mean, rec recognize that they're the ones that have to sell on having a secure platform, and these botnets are often run on on their products, and they yeah. and they don't want the reputation of being the company you can't trust because these botnets are being used. Well, because so, yeah. also of that enterprise relationship and the fact that they're Very trying important. to sell this new mobile phone platform and security is a huge part of their marketing. They're trying to sell it to the enterprise on the basis of, oh, this is more secure okay. because well, we well, say so. Well, and and But the reality is they're standing behind it. I mean, at least in this particular case, it wasn't like the end of the 90s where they said, yeah, we're secure, and yeah, they really weren't. Yeah. Uh, now at least they're, they're putting resources behind it making sure they're fixed. Yeah. But the good question is that you're asking is why isn't the government doing this? Because these botnets, they're not anti Microsoft anymore. They're anti us, and, and they're criminal organizations that are funding it. It really should be law enforcement taking a much bigger bigger role. And I agree with you. Often law enforcement seems to be spending more time trying to catch kids that are copying movies and not enough time catching the professional criminals. Exactly. Good column in PC Mag by me on oh, this topic. Nice <laughs> Thank you. What a coincidence. It's uh, PC Mag. It's called Microsoft, the International Police Force. I just found it disturbing yeah, yeah. because everyone's going on about it, but no one's ever pointed out the simple what is this happening for in the first place? Well, didn't Google do the same thing last year when a bunch of Google accounts got hacked from China and Google had, they had to do they had, people? Right. Yeah. This again, why we have huge law enforcement agencies and they Department of Homeland Security, which is just stocked yeah. full of people. Actually, and Microsoft has to go do this. Don't corporations generally hire all the really smart government white hats out from under the government? Like okay. Charlie Miller used to work at the National Security Administration. And or the agency. Mm -hmm. National Security Agency? Right, whatever. Yes. The NSA, he worked for them, right. and then it just wasn't profitable enough in the long run. Well, there's also restrictions. I mean, remember when, when Obama hired the high, that high-powered CIO, the government CIO, first one ever? I went on record saying the guy was going to last eight months. I think he mm -hmm. lasted seven. Mm -hmm. uh, the the uh, you just if, if you've got any talent at all, the government, unfortunately, it's not the place to be because nope. they don't let you do what, you're, what yep. you do best. So perhaps it's not that the government doesn't want to, maybe they can't because they can't keep the talent. No, well, they got too many people. I mean, Microsoft is yeah. not hiring everybody. I'll tell you one story, though. I was at a, a VC Christmas party, and you know how those are. They're very 
you know, big affairs. You went to a VC Christmas party? Yeah, last year. Oh. So, um, and uh, happened to be standing at the dessert table. It was loaded with these gorgeous desserts. And, and I'm looking at the guy's uh, ID tag next to me. It says, U.S. government. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm thinking either CIA way? or FBI, you know. So I struck up a conversation. You sure it wasn't Al Gore? <laughs> no, but mm -hmm. uh, so I struck a, up a VC, conversation you know. with him. Yes. And I said, you know, one thing that gets me is that why isn't the government doing more to you know, prevent spammers and hackers and all that. And he said, they're too, we're too busy fighting terrorism. Yeah, because so much me. terrorism going yeah. on. So uh, I'm reminded of about, remember the story was about two, two and a half, three years ago, hmm. where some guy was being hounded by a hacker. And he finally, he had to do all the research, found out where the, where the kid, it was a kid, where he lived. He was in Minnesota or someplace like that. He found out where he lived. He was in his parents' basement or something along those lines. And he turned all the data over to the FBI. He says, we got to do something. This guy's a horrible hacker. He's ruining my life. And they said, oh, we haven't got time for it. They gave him all the stuff they needed. Oh, they would do nothing. Was he a hacker? Was he just a 14-year-old who was harassing someone? Was he just a troll or was he actually a hacker? Because those are two vastly he different was a, things. He was probably a script kitty, but he was out of control. Right. Well, out of control, is he costing someone money? Is he threatening someone's life, legitimately threatening? I think because he was. I don't have time for that crap either. Like, if someone's trolling you on mm -hmm. the internet, like, I Yeah, feel but it's not your, your, it's not your job. It's somebody's job to... There's guy, the kid's breaking the law. It's his parents' job. Well, that's well, I had a worse story. I had a, a guy, a guy sent me an email, an email, what was it, last week, and he said I, he had a problem. He has a computer business. There were a couple of guys that were doing um, material recovery, you know, where they pulled the precious metals out of computers. They were homeless folks. He let them come in, mm -hmm. work in his shop. Stuff started disappearing, so we kicked them back out again. They started posting stuff all over the web that he was a pedophile, aggressive, just destroying his business. Went to law enforcement. They wouldn't help him, and so I put him in touch with it, with because I've never actually had gone through this process, with a number of companies that specialize in kind of protecting your reputation. He found, uh, he called two outfits. One outfit wanted to charge him ten grand to fix it. Another outfit on the East Coast charged him 2500 bucks. He said not only did they fix his reputation, traffic's gone up on his site and the rest of it. And I wish I had the name of the outfit. I was going to write write about it next week, but I haven't actually written it yet. So well, You the, should tell the Germany first lady about yeah, that. Yeah, you got to use it. Yeah, yeah 2500 bucks, and you, they can actually fix your problem. Anybody wants to send me an email, I can send you the name of the outfit. <sighs> It's just a racket, isn't it? Online reputation is all just a racket. Everything's that's a racket. Stuff works. I mean, this they can fix it, but it's, it's a shame that people can damage your reputation. It's a shame that the, that's how the American law works. enforcement I mean, doesn't do anything world. about any of this. Yeah. Unless you're a kid making a Ron Paul video, then they'll crack down. All right, we'll take a break on that note. Let's discuss. We'll get Leo back on here. Maybe it's just as we're talking about stamps.com. I believe Leo, are you there? So I couldn't find any grease, but I think if I just if I use a sharpie and I just put this. Right under here. That keeps the glare out. So when I'm ready to receive in the end zone. Hey, John. What? Washable marker. No, I think. Oh, dear. This says permanent. Oh, well. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll, de I'll defer that for a little bit. And then and, and meanwhile, I'll <laughs> talk about stamps.com. Stamps.com. It lets you send and receive. Uh, well, what am I talking about? Print U.S. postage. You send mail with, without going to the post office. It's like uh, you use your own computer, your own printer, and you print out postage, print out the mailing labels. All of the, you're Basically, the post office is here, right here. This is a post office, and you can wear crazy clothes and have, and it doesn't matter. You, I love stamps.com. I know you're going to love it, too. The deal is, Mac or PC, you go to stamps.com. And uh, they have a USB scale. We're not, you know, we fight over the scale. We actually got two accounts because we keep fighting over the scale, and I think I've lost it again. But the USB scale is great because you'd never overpay or underpay. You ever put more stamps on a package just to make sure it would get there? Waste money, not with stamps.com. I want you to visit stamps.com and find out what they can do for you. If you're an Amazon or eBay seller, it's great because they'll actually print out the form right from the website. So you don't have to even, you know, cut and paste or anything. Always have the right postage on hand, even when the postage rates change. And it's so cool. You even can get, uh, at stamps.com, you can even uh, uh, get discounts you don't get at, uh, oh, that's, these are actual customers. So you, get, you don't get at the post office. The 21% on express mail, up to 15% on priority mail. Never go to the post office again. Wow, did you see that? The word post office is trademarked. That's interesting. I guess the post office owns the word post office. Stamps.com. They, they let you print postage. 
and you can try it right now. I'll tell you what, go to stamps.com, and uh, right there on the uh, front page, you'll see the $80 special offer, $25 in postage. You get a digital scan. Wait a minute. We can do better than that. See the microphone? Click that. Enter the offer code TWIT. Now watch. Watch the magic. First of all, you get a really old picture of me. And you get a better value, $110 bonus, $55 in coupons, a free digital scale. You pay the shipping and handling, about 5 bucks. So to make up for that, they get a $5 supply kit and a four-week trial. Stamps.com. You can print right on the envelopes. Look super pro. Print your own mailing labels and postage. Never go to the post office again. Stamps. Dot com. We thank them so much for their support of This Week in Tech. And now, I send it back to you, John C. Dvorak. Thanks. Thanks, Leo. I understand that you're stuck in traffic. Huh? Hey, Leo, can, can you come back? No? Yeah, yeah, oh, no. He's gone. That, that camera in his car, what's weird, he has a car with a green screen in it, so it makes him look like he's in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> he's the only guy that does that. And, it, and by the way, it's not cheap. So uh, okay, we wanted we uh, while well, we were on the break there, we discussed the possibility of talking about Elon Musk's new ideas. Yeah. So he's got this one, which is, I think a lot of his stuff is he, definitely the guy's a big thinker. Yeah. And I think drinker. this latest one, big drinker. No, I said thinker or drinker. A, a Maybe thinker. both. Okay. Yeah. Well, he better be. So um, so now he's come up with this idea. He says that he says the California high speed rail, which I agree with him 100 percent, is a big scam. It's going to be, he says, the slowest high-speed rail in the world. Yeah, it'll never be. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really slow. Lowest I just bang never for counted on it to yeah. become a reality in the first place. Well, it was headed that way. Uh, it's just a waste of the taxpayers' money as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, uh, he has his, new, his scheme, he says, it's called, the, what's it called? The hyper... Hyper tunnel? It's essentially, a, you know those, when they had the department stores back in the 30s? <laughs> the they pneumatic had these tubes. tubes. Pneumatic tubes. Yeah. These pneumatic tubes, and you'd stick a thing in there... <laughs> <laughs> and they would get sucked down to the accounting right. office, and then they write down. Oh, well, except this works differently. You remove the air from the tube, and that removes air resistance, and then you can go supersonic. Yeah. And and the and so now you really have high speed. I mean, instead of, instead of looking over at China and say they've got maglev, and we've yeah. got a train that's probably when we build it thirty years out of date, we could actually have something that's ahead of China. But you know, the, our government doesn't yeah, do yeah. that. We're talking. I don't know. Them. Let's say, let's look at this from a practical perspective. Essentially, the individuals get into this device one at a time because it, apparently once you're there, you just walk in and boom, an hour later or half an half hour. An hour later, half an hour later. 700 and what? 700 miles an hour? 800, 800 miles, miles an hour, hour plus. Oh so you go, what you go, well, honey, I'll be, whoa, <laughs> zoom. And then you're being sucked down this tube at 800 miles an hour. See, that'd be great. See, oh, yeah. And so what I happens mean, if a cow bumps, it, bumps into the thing or something? No, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sealed tube. You're, yeah, you're yeah, in yeah, a yeah, tube. Yeah. So It'll be in the dark. Too. You'll be in the this. dark. You won't even see anything going on. As long no. as it's earthquake-proof. You know there's no subways in L.A. because nobody will ride That's them. not true. There is one now. Well, yeah, one now. but people don't get onto it. <laughs> well, only fools get on. Only a fool would get onto the subway in L.A. there. No, but yeah, no. People don't ride that bull mess, and I don't know. Are people going to be scared of a super fast underground tunnel that Elon Musk? I'm built? not getting into anything that's going to whisk me off at 800 miles an hour through the midlands of California. Oh, through, you pussy! Through the through this oh. cotton fields. There's You'll be the first field. one on there, John. I'll I'm it's all up. fruit. There's no through cotton? the fruits. Okay, so what if something amazing was happening? What would have to be going on in LA to get you in that tube? L.A., mm -hmm. pretty much nothing. Oh. I, don't you find L.A. to be kind of a dreadful place? It's so warm, though. Oh. I love oh, L.A. Yeah, it is warm. And yeah. also it would enable people who love nice weather to commute from L.A. to San Francisco for work where all the technology money is. I could be out of here. <laughs> there she goes. Into the tube. <laughs> <Shoom>. <laughs> um. See, I want to have little areas where they at least have some clear parts of the tube so you can see people whisking by one after the other. <laughs> So, so have you seen yeah. the Meglev train? In, in, yeah, uh, I haven't been on it yet, though. We've seen, I, I spent an afternoon, bought tickets, just went up and back to the airport on that train. That is a ball. But you ever have it go by? It's Can't like be. a jet jet plane coming by at low altitude. It's, yeah. It's much yeah, it's better inside 400 than 400 miles an hour, apparently. Yeah. 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 Well, this thing takes you past the speed of sound. Exactly. So you break the sound barrier. Except with the in you go, you it, it. I like to know whether it's feet first or head first <laughs> that you go into this tube. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on drunk here. <laughs> Anyway, it's like a luge. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, enough of that. Enough of this foolishness. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> what was the next topic?
Back After to tech, Elon John. Musk? Let's go back to tech. Back to tech. tech. Was tech. That was, was tech. tech. Look, if he can get us to space, I'm sure he can get us to he LA. He hasn't got us to space yet. Yeah, you would think. No, he did. Didn't they dock something did with it? the International yeah. Space there Station no, and lower? No, but his long-term goal is to man. send but people. But enough. Well, I'm sure he uh, Would you take a trip? In, in would you take a, Would you sign up for a trip to space? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's one of my big goals in life now, to go to space. Really? They call me a space cadet. I'm halfway there. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I don't quite think that's what That was kind of the setup for the line, I think. <laughs> but her, her fiancé is over here nodding. Yes, Jolie yeah. wants to go to space. I am going to go to space. Wait, I swear, you're married for I three saw years, that Mars rover and it just changed yeah. my damn life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to space. Yeah. You'll thank me someday when you give her a trip to the moon like Rob Cranston? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Bang, zoom, <laughs> Alice. That's right. Why well, we're really dating ourselves now. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Where's the technology? Okay. Go, go, daddy. Go, go, dad. Go, go, daddy. We already talked about that. Apple yeah. wins patent ruling against Samsung. Okay, we already know about that. Yeah. Yeah. What do we know about that, John? I don't know. We know that they won some cases. In, in the Didn't U.S., it's one, there's one standard, and outside of the U.S., there's another, another standard. Yeah. Well, they won so, the ITC found in their favor as well. Yeah. So. Actually, they found in, in their favor that they weren't violating any of Samsung's patents. Yeah, yeah. That was the... Just, All this patent bull mess is just bull mess. Isn't though. it? Bull yes. mess? It's bull mess. against the grain of technical innovation. <laughs> bull mess. Highly technical. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Destroyed by blogs. Variety magazine will sell for less than 30 million. So which is for worth issue? more, TechCrunch or Variety on paper? How, what did TechCrunch sell for? I heard 30 is what I heard. Or 15, one of the two. TechCrunch? TechCrunch. Yeah. The AOL's TechCrunch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sold it for 30? Something like that. Yeah. One year's. One year's tell. So I understand that you and Arrington aren't getting along. I don't think he has gotten along with me for a good couple of years. Does he get along with anybody? People like him. I know of people who like really? him. Really? I know of people who like him. I do not know of people he likes. Hmm. Huh. People like him. That's interesting. Did, what do you did have you a pen? Can I borrow your pen? Hmm? What did you have a phone? I don't down. know because he wouldn't answer my texts Here. one day. Oh, actually, I do need a pen. Well, maybe he just doesn't, I don't know why anybody wouldn't like Jolie O'Dell. I'm so, arrogant and annoying, haven't you heard? No, that's what Bing thinks. That's right, that's yeah. Bing thinks, yeah. Okay. You should sue them. You know what, it's just Bing users, so they've got enough on their hands. So anybody think, this is the, I mean, Variety, you know, they, they went online and I don't know they why tried, it's still, yeah. does anybody think maybe it's because it's like a $300 a year subscription? <laughs> has anyone <laughs> ever thought of that? Well, it's yeah. an industry publication for a very small niche of yeah, people where were who you reads Variety. I'd read LA. it if it wasn't three hundred dollars a year. Well, it's three hundred dollars a year because it's not for you. It's for people who would pay three hundred dollars a year for it. I'm in kind show like business. Here I am. We? It is. I got a camera on me. Curtain up. <laughs> but you can't sing. So. You know, I hear I hear the iPad you can talk, five you is can in sing. women's wear daily. <laughs> the what? I hear the iP the iPhone five is in women's wear daily. Is that right? Yeah, it's it's designed for. Didn't you hear that? Design? Oh, sorry. I, I'm paying no <laughs> attention. No, yeah, it's a woman's. So the iPhone 5 is a woman's product. Here we go. Uh, get back to the beginning. Yeah, put it with the tampon. Amazon expanding in-app yeah. purchases to include the sale and delivery of physical goods. Don't they deliver physical goods now? I was a bit what confused is by that. Not my story. Chad, that's a story. <laughs> Does anyone realize that Amazon's about one step away from same-day delivery? Yeah. yeah oh, they, they do same-day delivery in yeah. some places now, yeah. don't they? I don't know, do they? We were talking about this on a recent This Week in Tech. But yeah, no, they are. Yeah, yeah. I have a thought on that, too. What? Here's, the, here's, well, the, here's the irony before you go on with your thought. Okay. Because I'm known for interrupting. Yeah, I know you are. No. So, uh, really? You so do here, it so well. So here's the irony of this whole thing. Here's what happened. Amazon's on its very, you know, it's just doing its own thing, yeah. saying, well, you know, we're sending all this stuff out. And, and then all this brick and mortar companies are going, you guys aren't charging tax. You're screwing yeah, us. Course. You guys are the worst. You're miserable. We got to do something. Let's bring in the law, you know, the legislators and do whatever we ha can to stop you. So Amazon says, oh, really? That, so that's the way you want to play it. We'll put a warehouse up in Nevada, we'll put one in Sacramento, we'll put one in, because you're going to charge tax anyway. Mm -hmm. And we'll do same day delivery to right to the guy's house. And if you're a member of Prime, it'll be free. You think that's a better idea? Make that Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the guys now, all these guys, oh, we didn't mean it. We, we, were, just, we were sorry. We were complaining. Yeah. It, they're just going to screw everybody. Yeah, totally. But it serves them right. Yeah. I mean, the, at the end of the day, if Amazon has to, has to survive, they're the next Walmart, pretty much, if not bigger. Yeah. I'm agreeing, agreeing with that. 
Are Walmart you? thinks they're trying to compete with Amazon with their little online stuff and their mobile apps and whatnot, and their whole buy it online and then pay at Walmart in cash and pick it up. Yeah, but they, they really can't compete, I don't think. I think Best Buy tried that already once they before, did. and it didn't work, it didn't did it? Work. Yeah. No, Best Buy's had issues. Well, the Best Buy customer and the Walmart customer are two different people, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Yes. But there is are. a website that you go to and frequent, I'm sure, showing the best of the Walmart customers. What is the name of that website? Chat is room? It peopleofwalmart.com? Is that it? Uh, Anytime you need to see Terry people Cloth of and Buck Walmart in the same yes, shot, indeed. that's where you go. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or you can look at the Kate Middleton pictures. When you ever need to see that? <laughs> But, you know, speaking of uh, Amazon and Prime, one thing that I, I was surprised... Are you surprised, a Prime member? I am. Yeah, uh, And one thing I was surprised on this fire is that they didn't exploit the Prime subscription more. That we thought that they might offer a subsidized tablet if you subscribe to, like... So, for Prime subscribers, you get the tablet for $99 or something. Yeah. And then you get all the videos you can watch and... So, Do but Prime instead they went after Apple. I, I, I didn't quite understand. Well, remember well you get you, free you videos. Get, get, the Prime's already subsidized, so that, that's, that's, yes. that's how they get the oh, free streaming movie. movies. So yeah, you get all that true. if you're on Prime. So you yeah. can't double subsidize because so no you double only have so many dollars. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, that and there's overhead for the tablet. There's no overhead for streaming videos and whatnot. Well, there's uh, there's server costs. Not much. Not much overhead. Not as much overhead. Has anyone got the new Roku? Yeah, well, how's, how's Roku doing? Oh, yeah, they're Roku's doing real doing well, great. actually. They're getting ready to launch their streaming stick. I spoke with their CEO. They have a stick? They have a stick. Huh. Oh, yeah. So what did the CEO have to say? You know, I've been wanting to meet with them, I don't know, for the last uh, three years, probably. Mm. And I keep, oh, you know, I'm going to get down there. It's like I won't drive down to Sunnyvale or wherever it is. I just can't seem to get out of the house is. much. It's a miracle I'm even here. <laughs> they came to Not me, the actually. Game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But watching the game on TV. I'm sorry. I don't get out of the house much either, hence my big, big fan of Amazon. So anyways, no, I was speaking with um, Anthony Wood, their CEO. They are planning big, big, big promotions over the holiday season to help launch the streaming stick out into the wild. And what it's going to do, they're shipping it also with a whole bunch of the new smart TVs to make them really, really smart. And I think that that will put them, I mean, they're already doing pretty well, but I think they'll be doing even better after this coming holiday. What does the stick do? It makes your means, TV go with the internet. Does the stick plug like into what? Not a box. It's a USB stick. stick. Set-top stick. Or an it's HDMI. Set-top stick. All right. It is. It's an HDMI or USB, and for uh -huh. the life of me, I can't remember which one. I could look it up on the internet, but the internet's well, all the way over there. Well, if it works with regular TVs, it almost have to be HDMI because most TVs don't have yeah. a USB port. So it plugs into the side, and then it's all an of a sudden your TV has Roku. It's an MHD stick, yeah, somebody yeah, said in the chat. What's MHD? No one. And you know what the coolest thing about Roku is that it's sort of the example of third party, you know, creating a success for a company that the Roku channels, all mm -hmm. these huge. I mean, have you ever been to the Roku channel directory? There are hundreds and hundreds. Yeah. Of, they have been pushing you know, that. Unlisted actually. Channels. They've been pushing that really hard. Yeah, and they've they made that a big, big part of yeah, what they're yeah. offering. They want to yeah. get as many channels and as many options as possible. Yeah, yeah. And at this point, Roku like is apps. really challenging cable TV very, very hard. Yeah, yeah. And I think they've designed a product that's much, much easier to use than any other smart TV platform I've yeah, seen. Is, easier than the, plugging in your Xbox or PlayStation. The either. only problem is with those designs is that there's too much arrow, arrow, okay. Yeah, up, no, down, I down, yeah. left, okay. It's too much I of mean, that. it's excruciating. In it's, fact, I understand the No Agenda show has a channel on Roku. I've never been able no. to find it. Yeah. It's a fact. Really? Oh. Noagendashow.com normally okay. you'd go to, but apparently it's on Roku. And it's right, and but people have... Did you write a column about it, too? Yeah. I no? can't find it. <laughs> but that's what people keep telling me. All right. Okay, uh, does anyone have any thoughts on what's going to happen with the new Nintendo? Oh, the Wii, Wii U. Coming, Wii, Wii U. You, you me. Wii U. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, PU. Is it Wii U? PU. Wii U, Wii U. yes. Uh, huh? I'm not expecting great things from this one. <laughs> you were one of the people that didn't expect great things from the first one, as I recall. No, I, I, we was fine. I just thought they left it in market too long. Yeah. What about you? No? Don't care. I use an Xbox with a Kinect, and I'm having so much damn fun with that thing. We've I blown up had four Xboxes. Yeah. Blown them up like on a bomb range? Because yeah, I need sure, to hang huh? out with you more. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Now, you're supposed to use the controllers. You're not supposed to actually throw <laughs> the box around. I'm telling you, they, they, they're, they're unreliable. Yeah. It, it's it's mm -hmm. not a baseball. It plays a baseball game. Okay. Um, I'm doing the best I can, okay, people listening to the show? 
You know, Leo is really good because he yaks and yaks, and you know, he seems really, he seems happy all the time. And it's really difficult for me to uh, to feign happiness. Is Although even if he's sitting next to Joel, do you think I'd be happy? But no, no. the C stands for cranky. Uh, it yeah. actually stands for cash. Oh, cash, cash oh. money. Yeah, it actually stands for computer. Uh, study: <laughs> One in five U.S. women are now using Pinterest. Does that include you? You all know, eyes go to Joel. I refuse <laughs> to speak for we my gender. Stay, she's, <laughs> One you, chance you're the five, only it's... person here that can speak for her gender. You know what? Men that's... watch porn and women have Pinterest, and I think that's all. That's all. Well, that's, at least it starts with a P. Pretty much yeah. true. Yeah. Very Pinterest. And I, I tried to use Pinterest uh, with my sister. She was planning her wedding, and we were trying to organize wedding ideas. And I found it to be an enormous time suck and vanity, and it was just awful. I hated it. You hated, hated every Pinterest. every second of it. However, um, for bloggers, I understand that it can bring in a bunch of traffic if you game it the right way. And as for example? Know, um, doing the buttons on the internet, you know, gaming it. Well, if you if you go onto Pinterest and you post your content and other people's content, you gather a big audience. It's like Dig, but a lot more visual. And it works now, because Dig has been working for a while. Yeah, well, well, Dig's Dig kind is of... We already sat Shiva for Dig a couple weeks ago, yeah. but... Hey. Yeah, what? This is New Year's... Uh, this is Russia show. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, yeah, no. What? T tonight is... Uh, we, we need to wish everybody Happy New Year tonight, John. Oh, oh okay. So... Um, right now, Pinterest is kind of the new Dig. It's more visual, and I think more women is probably a good thing because Dig was kind of male-dominated, wasn't it? And One in five U.S. women. Yeah. That's a That's huge a number. Yeah. So well, how many women? So 150 million, one in five, what is that, 30 that million women? women? That doesn't make sense. just women or women in a certain age group? I think the study is BS. But, um, well, it was probably done from a sample. Well, I would assume. A sample of whom? Like people in a major metropolitan area? What do you think of Tumblr as a female? As a female? Yes, I'm asking you as a female. With my I'm thinking now. Mm -hmm. I don't really care about Tumblr. What well, about Reddit? Do you I'm like anything at all? I'm scared to say anything bad about be... Reddit. <laughs> You're going into weird territory. She seems no. to be like, she no. just dislikes everything, it seems oh, to me. Oh, I love eBay. eBay? Yeah. Buy it now? <laughs> yeah, I got yeah. hooked on eBay myself. I love eBay time. and Pocket Frogs and... Uh, that's all I'm going to say about it. Which reminds me, I wrote matter. a column. Let's get back to oh. the thing. You did? Yeah. You, finally? Yeah. I wrote a column on eBay for Market Watch this last Friday. Yeah. And I said people have to rethink eBay because eBay is not eBay anymore. So you're talking about eBay. But most people from the 90s think of eBay as eBay. Ebay, which is different than the Ebay of today. Yeah, they even changed their logo. Did you see that? Yes, they yeah. changed their logo, so it's a... It's a eBay of yeah. Well, the real Ebay was for collectibles, like junk yeah. collectibles, mostly Beanie Babies and yeah. things like that. There was a lot of baby, baby, Beanie Baby action going on. And like now it's day. become a... See, so there's the new logo for people watching on the, yeah, on the video. people love a lot of criticism about that new logo. There's a new logo. Because the letters are all scrunched yeah, together. Yeah, the old logo on the right, yeah. left, yeah. and the new one on the right. Everybody, I have not it just begs for space, for some air in between the letters, but... You eBay. Like I don't lap. like eBay generally. <laughs> I mean, it's usually when I want to buy something that eBay has, I just go to Amazon yeah. and find it there. Uh -huh. But I will say that I bought a few crazy things from eBay over the years. But it, but what you get now from eBay, because everything's buy it now. In fact, something like seventy five percent of all the business on eBay is buy it now. It's Smart. no yes. more. Mm -hmm. These yeah. uh, auctions are they don't do them. And you end they up. Do auctions. Well, they, they do auctions. Well, not only the, the auctions the are rigged because they use these eBay bots. Up in here. Yeah, that's yeah, why they're... you can't you can't win. You anything. can't win. They can't win. Yeah, you can't win against the machine. So what I find is that I order something from eBay, and then I wait. It's not like Amazon where I get it in two days because I'm mm -hmm. a Prime member. I wait for a week, sometimes two weeks, and there it comes, shows up. From China directly. Yeah. 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 I have to order all my clothes from China. Nothing in the U.S. I ordered what? a small something from the U.S. and it <clears throat> was like a garbage bag on me. So I order all my clothes from China, and it does take a couple weeks because you of... order your clothes from China. Yes, I do. I order my clothes from China. Huh? Yeah. Have, have, have really? Which size are you? Small. Small's not extra small here. Large over there. Right. But anyway. Oh, I can see that Chinese sizes might yeah. yeah. But what kind of clothes can you order from China? Good. Is all this from China? You, you've never bought clothes in China? Made there. Well, everything's from China. Darlin, everything is from China. Everything is from China. Things that are sold in the U.S. are all from China. That's Look a defeatist attitude. 
No, they they. Uh, There's something I just done. Nice job with clothes. If you, if you want custom tailored clothing, <laughs> yes, on Etsy. The cheap. Yeah, and exactly. even then, it's made in China. They well, have a, a lot whole of it big Chinese scam. thing on there. Okay. Wow, we are yeah. off track, sir. China, China, China. Okay, so then. What were we talking about? Pinterest and women. Uh, Pinterest. And, yeah. You guys use Reddit? Yeah, you use Tumblr? Yeah, Tumblr. I don't. Yeah, man, this is like Pinterest a group of old farts. <laughs> Nobody Pinterest. You use Pinterest? I use Pinterest. Yeah, yeah. Not often, just occasionally. Huh. I, w- I went to Pinterest the first time I went. It was a big deal. I got an early invite. Mm. And I looked at it. I said, this is going to be a great time killer. You could you could waste your whole day on this. And I never went back. That I was just, basically my reaction to it. I don't have a whole lot of time to waste these days. And I think a lot of women realize that they do waste a lot of time on Pinterest. I always see female friends on Facebook posting about, oh, my God, I wasted so much time on Pinterest today. And then they waste the work. rest of the day on Facebook. I know. This is why I have a problem with the internet. This do you is why have I don't a, have a smartphone. Do you have a Facebook account? I have one. Do you use it? Do you spend all day on it? No. Do you have a Facebook account? Well, yeah, but I don't spend a lot of time on it. Well, you? I have a Facebook account. But I don't that. have one. Just thought I'd mention that. Oh, oh my God. Really? Do right. you have a fan page, though? Problem? Yeah, somebody put one up. I've got a Google Plus account, too. <sighs> one of the six. No, I don't have time for this stuff. I, I do use Twitter. I say hello once in a while, and I retweet which is very valuable. Mm-hmm. Kimmel fools people into believing the iPhone 4S is an iPhone 5. This should have been in the earlier segment, but I think yes. this is still one of the funniest. It is, isn't it? It's a classic, but this reminds me of the stupidity of Microsoft some time back when they decided to, uh, to do an ad featuring idiots that came in and they showed them uh, Windows Vista, when Vista was a dog, I mean, yeah, nobody yeah, was using And then they said, come on, look at this. This is the next operating system. Tell us what you think. Sure. And everyone says, this is fantastic. This is really good. If this was, if Vista was this good, I'd use this. Yeah, it was pretty And funny. all it was was proving that Microsoft's marketing stinks. Yeah, yeah. So they, are, so they, they bring up, them. they spend a bunch of money on advertising about themselves stinking. I just thought it was idiotic. Well, you, you'd kind of hope it taught the lesson, though, because it really did showcase that the product wasn't properly marketed. Right. And by the or way... that people don't understand technology. It's supposed to be magic, and they're not supposed to understand. Remember when Google did their whole big nobody knows what an internet browser advertisement is? And they went out into Times Square, and they were like, you, sir, what's an internet browser? And they're like, oh, is that is that a computer? And nobody really knew. Huh. People are stupid, and that's okay. We have to build for people who are stupid. Yes, and, and this that's also reminds exactly me of what's a, going on. Reminds me of a survey we did at Retrievo a few years ago when we asked iPhone 4 users if they had 4G, and something like 30% said they had 4G on their iPhone 4s. Right, (laughs) because it was an iPhone 4. 4, Hey, we better take another break here, uh, Chad, because we're running out of time and we got two ads to do. So uh, I think we're gonna move on to this, uh, get back a hold of Leo, who's gonna be talking about Squarespace, and I think he's still in his car, in in traffic, traffic in his green screen car, with a little, it's he's a got Maybach, right? Maybach. He's in the back of this Maybach with a green. Yeah, no, he he it. has a he has a driver. That's for sure. Yeah. And it is. A, I don't know if it's a Maybach or a stretch uh, Mercedes. Maybe it's a but stretch it's, Citroen. You can't miss it because it's it's big and it's silver and and it's got this green screen room in it. Anyway, Leo, you there? There now, I'm ready for the game. Hey, John, Jolie, good to see you. How are you? I'm here to tell you a little bit about Squarespace.com, everything you need to build an exceptional website. The new Squarespace is here, and i got to tell you, it is spectacular. We use it for our blog, Inside Twit. Um, and, uh, you know, <laughs> unlike <laughs> the uh, very expensive websites we purchased, uh, the Inside Twit site never goes down. You notice that? It never has any problems, never has any security issues. What, what's the deal? What's the deal? We should have done everything in Squarespace.com. Squarespace, you should be doing it. You start with a beautiful set of templates, designer templates. And I got to tell you, the best thing about Squarespace, this is the free trial. Two weeks free. You don't need a credit card. You don't need anything. You can use Squarespace. Use all the features of Squarespace.com. Where is it? Whoops. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Um, you, all you have to do is provide them with a name email and password and you're good you're good to go you can create your very own website try all the features of squarespace 
squarespace.com. One of the features of the new Squarespace I really like is this responsive design. You know, the whole, it's a new um, philosophy in web design. It used to be you'd have a mobile site. How much did we spend on our mobile site? Like six grand, right, for twit.tv? Not anymore. You don't do that anymore. Uh, what you do is you have one site that fits all. They, it's called responsive design, and it automatically uh, happens with Squarespace. Every image that you upload, they process it into seven different sizes so that your site looks great, whether it's a 27-inch display or an iPhone or an iPad or an Android. It always looks good. It just does it automatically. And you don't have to even think about it when you're doing your design. And by the way, very easy to do a design. You just drag and drop the margins. And I mean, it couldn't be simpler. You, but you know, if you know CSS and JavaScript, of course, it's easy. Uh, they have a code uh, uh, editor that color uh, colorizes the syntax and everything. But you don't have to to get a great-looking site. Your content, your existing content, uh, if you have it, in Tumblr, WordPress, or Blogger, goes right in and right out. You're never trapped. And the integration... Uh, into Twitter and Flickr. All of that stuff is just so simple, so easy. Even Google Maps, you can just embed them right on your blog. I just think Squarespace is the tool you've been looking for. The best hosting plus the best software to make an exceptional website. And the best part is the pricing. Let me go back to the Squarespace page here and show you. The pricing is fantastic. How much did we spend on that uh, that site? You know, like 100000 so let me just show <laughs> let me just show you how much it costs. This is hosting. What do we spend? Five thousand a month in hosting. This is hosting plus the software. Eight dollars a month if you buy annually on the basic plan. Ten dollars month to month. My suggestion is buy the annual plan unlimited. Sixteen dollars a month. You get unlimited pages, galleries, and blogs. Unlimited bandwidth. Unlimited storage, unlimited contributors. You, they'll, for when you buy an annual plan, either annual plan, they'll automatically give you free a free a re domain registration and hook it up. dot com. dot org. dot net. dot biz. dot info. Uh, it's yours to keep forever, but they set it up for you for free, and they'll hook it up to your website. You get all these great features. Sixteen dollars a month, and if you buy an annual plan, you'll save a lot when you use the offer code twit nine t w i t nine. That's the twit and the month, uh, September the ninth month, uh, saves you 10% off that first purchase. We love Squarespace. Try it free right now, squarespace.com. And if you decide to buy, that's all we ask. Use the offer code twit9 to save 10%. You're going to, it's just the best. All right. The game's about to start. I'm going to have to send it back to twit. I'm getting excited. John C. Dvorak, line up. <laughs> it's ready. Kick. Yes, Jeff, right. Yeah, I, I don't even know you know anything about football, Leo. That's funny. But I know you know about cars and that Maybeck is a winner. So um, we had a couple of things we wanted to talk about, uh, which was Facebook and the and Zuckerberg did what? Facebook and the mobile web has been this whole big thing. So yeah. Mark Zuckerberg, there was a TechCrunch Disrupt conference this week, and it was the only other big draw in town aside from the Apple show. And so, um, IDF. Mark, yeah, IDF. That, well, and that okay. magic <laughs> fingers. Show, yeah. Poor my poor Intel, but go on. Yeah, they just the timing. So, anyways, Mark Zuckerberg got up on stage at Disrupt, and he was really speaking off the cuff. Nobody had any idea what he was going to be willing to talk about or what kind of mood he was Hold in. Oh, Clint Eastwood. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he that would have been great. No, that would have been what Mike Errington would have done oh, if Zuck had just yeah. hadn't felt like going on stage. Uh -huh. That would have been awesome. I want to see that someday. So anyways, Zuck goes up on stage and he says, okay, I know we've been pushing really hard for the mobile web for the past year. We've just been nailing it into people's brains like this is the way of the future. But actually, it's the biggest mistake our company ever made. And all the neckbeards were like, oh, <gasps> yeah. So I, being a neckbeard without the beard, was like, oh. And um, I went to Facebook a couple days later. And Facebook, every now and then, they'll do these whiteboard lunches where they'll get like... 10 journalists, tops, in a room, and they'll let us talk to some of their really, really smart, high-ranking people. Well, this time, there were the 10 journalists, you know, the Facebook press corps, and then they brought in some Gartner analysts, and they brought in Robert Scoble, and I'm like, what's Scoble doing here? They must really want the word out about something, because Scoble talks. He's a talker. <laughs> Um, yeah, you can telephone, telegraph, or tell Scoble. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> and bless his heart, that's why they had him there. So what they had us there to talk about was iOS, and the big thing everybody in the room wanted to discuss was, what did Mark Zuckerberg mean when he said HTML5 was a big mistake? Because um, Facebook, they've been leading this whole 
HTML5 mobile web push, but they've also been involved in standards. Like they went into the W3C and they started the core mob group and then they started this ring mark uh, test suite. I'm boring you to death. No, no, see. I'm not being bored. I'm wondering why... They've been doing Why all this such advocacy a, a, in the free and open source software world to push for the mobile web, and they found out that they couldn't make it work on the iPhone. In reality, it didn't work. But uh, at Facebook, they still have all these engineers that are working very hard on CoreMob and RingMark and all their other um, mobile web projects. They just mm. can't do it for iOS right now. And I don't, I don't really blame Facebook for that. Okay. I don't know who I blame for that. Uh, I, I, I didn't know anything about this. Oh. Of course, I don't get invited to these things. Now you do. Do you want to go? Yeah. No. You just have to be really <laughs> into the... I, well, I could be invited just as a courtesy. Yeah. Because <laughs> then maybe I might just go just to, you know, say, hey, how you doing? Oh, well, that's why they'd invite you. I mean, if they were sure you weren't going to go, then they'd invite you. If they were sure... Oh, I see what you're saying. See? I can't be vague. No. So I have to just... I'm never going to go. So invite me. Yeah, okay. There you go. Well, I can try that. Go. So HTML5 is the future of the web. How can they... Well, the future of the mobile web. Well, the mobile web is the future of mobile applications. Yeah, they you guys know about this. know and believe, hmm. but they think native applications are just kind of going into the dustbin of history. Mozilla and Yahoo and a bunch of other companies think the same way, but of course Apple doesn't and Google can't afford to. But Facebook can afford to because they don't have any hardware. They don't have any reason to want the native platforms to succeed. Yeah, but that's really the problem with Apple because Apple only wants native platforms. I know. I mean, they went 180 degrees from this this web-based app model, which is what they started with. It didn't work to one that says, you know, our apps, one? our apps only work on our phone. No, Apple in general, all oh, the apps yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are, yeah. are written specifically for the device. Yeah. Well, I know. And Facebook had their, their iPhone device, the one that everyone said sucked, that had two and a half stars on the App Store was mostly an HTML5 app, did yeah. you know? Then they rewrote it from the ground up in mm. Objective-C, and now it works beautifully, and it causes Zuckerberg and everyone else to say, oh, the mobile web is doomed, and the hackers at Facebook are saying, no, no, it's not doomed, just give us some more time, we'll fix this thing. Mm. Yeah, so, native. You yeah. know, somebody on the chat room was mentioning, you know, where's the status of Flash and all this, because yeah. this is really what the deal's all about, just get rid of Flash, and it was supposedly when HTML5 was announced, right. Flash was doomed that day, and it yeah. never was doomed. And now, uh, I don't know, do you guys get this on your, uh, some of my browsers, when, I've, when, I, when a video shows up, I get this little box in front of the video that says, hey, we're trying to get some of your memory here, you yeah, want to yeah. allow it or, oh, yeah, or know, deny it? I know. And it's a little box. Creepy, isn't it? And then yeah. the thing's blinking, the, 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 no, the right. cursor, but you had yeah. this problem. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the cursor, your cursor's blinking yeah, and winking, right, and you right. can't figure out where it is. Yeah. And so you pound on the control <laughs> key to get that zero to show up. Yeah. And then you try to move the cursor over to click on <laughs> deny or allow, and neither one of the buttons work. <laughs> so you pound and pound and pound on the deny yeah. button, and nothing yeah. happens. And then, once in a while, when it does deny it, it disappears and a new one comes up. Exactly. Very John neat. needs a hug. Makes it unwise. Yeah, I do need a is. hug. Big time. I think that's just porn sites, though. I <laughs> no, no, no. I'm <laughs> telling you, this is like all over the place. It and it's, yeah. it's the most annoying it thing. Is. And then the worst thing is that one of these things pops up in a background window. You can be on some other browser. And your yeah. your, your cursor still doesn't work all over the machine. That's so you got to scrounge around through all your tabs to find this idiotic thing, which may be in an ad on the side. Right. And you have to, like, close right. that window. Does anybody else yeah. have this problem besides yeah. myself and Andrew? Yeah. And when it's not doing that, it's asking you to upgrade, update Flash. <laughs> yeah, or whatever. Yeah. I find Maybe you guys that... should up upgrade You've never had this happen. No, not really. I'm not really. having this Sorry. problem. <laughs> I've upgraded Flash and upgraded it and Every upgraded day, it. Every day, just about, yeah. yeah. Yes, I do not have I know, it's not on a Mac. And some of theirs, there, there's, R. Chandra has uh, run into this. And I'm sure a few others have, too. Well, if you guys retired that Windows ME platform you're running, it, it probably works better. <laughs> Huh? That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, you got a million of them. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll be back next week. What else do we got to talk about before we finish up? We got another 10, 15 minutes to do this stuff. Let's go back to the Jimmy Kimmel thing. <laughs> uh, so I think this is, well, we already talked about that, but I think this can be done with any product with the, in today's market. Yeah. This is the latest, Probably. you know, something, but it's an old product. I have an actually a gateway handbook I'm thinking of taking out one of these days <laughs> and bringing it around as a new laptop. Yeah. It's a very small. It's a very small little device. This big it runs DOS. Yeah. And I could show it as a new, uh, you know, new. I'm, I'm sure somebody would buy into that. The new revolutionary command line interface. It's simple. It's easy. I think you could probably sell that. Yeah. Not to me. BuzzFeed's first acquisition, Kingfish Labs, could make its Facebook ads go more viral than football cats. What the is that headline about? Yeah. Anyone? Well, BuzzFeed I don't know. is full site, and they just that. 
It says that they're going to... What gonna... is BuzzFeed? It's football cats. What's football cats, she asks. Anybody know? Hmm? Chat room? No, chat room. Football cat. I oh, there it is. Cat football cat. It's cats helmet. in football helmets. Really? A cat in a football helmet. Well, clearly it hasn't gone viral enough, girl, because I have never heard of it, so... And there's these two guys, Fishman and Revis. Speaking of, uh, speaking of fun videos, did you see this one this week of the guy that ran through the gate? He rammed his car into the gate of the, 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 Apple, the store. Apple store. Oh, to steal the stuff and then drop, and dropped his license. <laughs> Came back to get his license, yeah. and they caught him. You know? Yeah, so, uh, it's, a, it's a very genius. <laughs> got two flat this, is to me, this to me is a classic Apple user. <laughs> Well, then oh, there was yeah. the guy. I just thought I'd throw that, that in gratuitously because I know I'll get a lot of interesting action. It was the guy that action. stole the bicycle yeah. and then went back to the same bicycle shop to buy a lock yeah. for it so nobody else could steal it. Right. Yeah. Lord love well. them. Anything else on so your list? full of Homer Simpson. Well, there is the. Oh, Homer's the smarter than that. Inside e viewy Google Street View. Oh, oh yeah. We, oh, thing. so to so announce right. I, I wrote that. it on here. It says Google, and then I, got, then I forgot immediately. Inside view. So right. we have, uh, for people out there listening to the show, you should know that uh, the. You know, Google's got this street view thing where you can where the, you can see the outside of people's houses and walk up and down the blocks. And they're going into certain buildings so you can get a look inside the building. And now eventually, of course, Jolie mentions earlier that you can uh, get instructions on how to find Gate 15 at the San Francisco airport because you're apparently too dumb to know that it's near 13 and 14. But besides that. Uh, so we have an expert here that has mapped... The uh, Twit Cottage. So now you can go to Petaluma, and you can open the front door, and you can walk in, and you'll be able to walk in. And there you go. There's the trit, the, the brick wall. We have a, there's the brick, brick wall, and there's the look at that. There, where's the no agenda brick in there? It's in there somewhere. Uh, and then you can go to the bathroom. You can take a leak, actually, believe it or not. No. Yes, you can no. pee on your screen, and it will show up in the Brick <laughs> House studio. Yeah, try it. For you guys on the web, you give it a shot. Pee on your screen. Just and the then you can. Is this the first the time internet? the public has ever been in? Yes, inside this is the first time this, this radical, everywhere? where you can wander around. I Look mean, at all that work that's going on. Do they? Where's. Yeah, well, they could have had us up there. Well, well. So, anyway, that's, that's the. Uh, there you go. There you have it. Anyway, go cool. to the, uh, go to, there's Leo. Leo. <laughs> they clogged out his face. What happened to his face? He they're not, a, they're not allowed all to over the show internet faces. Everywhere. You right? can't show faces. No, so, so. But his face, I can see his face. Yeah, I can yeah, see, I can see their face. <laughs> Thinly disguised. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like that painting of the of the Christ figure on the wall, the way they did that face. Okay. Anyway, so now you can do that, and that's a great thing. Because God knows everybody wants to go wandering around buildings. Well, you said the Louvre. It I think the nice. Louvre would be great. Yeah. I wouldn't mind wandering around because they keep changing the layout. And you might want to go around and see what you want. You know, you kind of scope it out. Oh, I think and so. say, I know where the Mona Lisa is. Yeah. Or you can just show your kid, hey, you want to go to France? Here, come here. And you take them Save around. Some money. That's and wander right. around. On the web. I've done this. I've there's been a lot of neighborhoods I've walked around. You're such a great father. I was father. talking to a, a startup founder <laughs> today whose his big long term vision is just you can be sitting in your living room and you can have a device or have a screen or whatever and just experience Paris, experience other places from wherever you are. You need to educate yourself and broaden your cultural horizons or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that I but you can't people. smell the stench of the New York City streets. You can't pee <laughs> on the street. From the comfort of your home, you can't smell the the steaming pee on the streets, which is all throughout New York City. Oh God! Yeah, New I was well, San Francisco to some extent too. By the must way, must go different yeah. vacations. And by the Thank way, God. <laughs> by well, I always it's in the summer when you have this problem. You get, it's actually visible. You know, I was in uh, Port Angeles recently. Up in the, I have a place up there, and I actually and I've talked about this on the No Agenda Show dot com. And uh, I w actually saw coming out of the, we, we go to a raw milk dairy and we go actually go there and buy uh, the milk directly. And coming out of the, out of the driveway was an actual dump truck full of crap, cow manure, and it was steaming. So, I mean, you've heard about the steaming pile of crap. I actually witnessed this, and it does steam, and it's like a bunch of steam coming off this hot you know, cow manure. For, for, your, it like for your idiom, you always reference bull crap. Well, there you have it, sir. Steaming. And it was steaming. steaming. It was steaming. It was the damnedest thing. I'm telling you, you will. You have not seen anything until you've you seen lived. a dump truck full of steaming crap. Okay. It's actually steaming. This is astonishing. Wow. You're so far 
we're off the rails. No, I'm telling you, it may be off the rails, but it's the educational. We haven't lived. To whom? It's, well, it seemed I mean, educational at the time. I mean, I, my jaw dropped when I saw this. No, when that's happening, you want to keep your jaw closed. <laughs> Helium filled. <laughs> it's pretty hard. Yeah. Wow. Helium filled. I actually oh. tried to get my camera because yeah. I wanted to chase the truck yeah. down the road to get some shots of this because I didn't think anyone would believe me. Oh. I had oh. witnesses. I, I would have I believed you. You didn't have to chase it. Helium filled the Western Digital Drives promise huge boost in capacity. What? Helium filled drives. Well, what do you must know about this? Yeah, I was actually called on this. So, the, so yeah, these are helium filled drives. They are ultra dense. They spin at, at very high speeds, and the helium helps it operate in that way because they're not surrounded in air. So the well, and one cooler, of the problems right? was well, why don't you make it in a vacuum yeah. then? The, the problem is turbulence. Yeah, turbulence. Turbulence, turbulence from the spinning disc. Oh, from in the regular air field. So you get the out. vortexes. Mm -hmm. And by having some by having another gas in there as opposed to a vacuum, you don't have to worry about leaks. Well, what? then why wouldn't you just flood a data much. center with helium for efficiency purposes? Or would because it be we'd expensive? all be talking like this. That's exactly right. <laughs> and wouldn't that it be, be kind delightful. of fun? <laughs> it would uh, float away. Didn't the Winchester, doesn't the Winchester head have to have some air in it so it, it lifts off? The, the, well, the, but helium works like that. Yeah. So the, it's a gas. So yeah, so yeah. Still so get the Bernoulli it, it, effect it, or whatever. It, it, allow, yeah. it allows the head to float. and the and the and uh, So it gives you some of the benefits. Who of comes up with these ideas? They've been working on this for 10 years, apparently, because the gas helium had a tendency to leak to leak out of the drives. So after 10 years, well, this is going to be a, it's a big breakthrough because they're going to increase the density of our drives substantially. And uh, the damn I mean, things won't think, die. Think how much memory YouTube needs to archive and store all those videos. I mean, it's just, you know, huge. All I know is you can get demand. two terabytes for 100 bucks. Yeah, totally. We, we figured they were going to be dead totally. five years ago. Petabytes. Ahead. All right, guys, yeah, we'll do one more ad, and then we'll finish off the show. We uh, have Leo. I don't think he made it into the studio yet, and he's here to tell us about Gazelle, I believe. Leo? Hi, John C. Dvorak. Sorry I can't be with you, but as you know, I am at the 49ers game right now enjoying myself and rooting for our team as they face the Oakland A's in a very big game. You know, I've had it with this Samsung Galaxy S3. I am ready to buy an iPhone 5. Perhaps you, too, are ready to buy an iPhone 5, and that's why you should check out gazelle.com. It's the easy way to get a little bit of money to pay for your, uh, your new stuff, your gadgets. Gazelle.com. What is your iPhone worth? Or maybe you want to trade in, heaven for fend, a BlackBerry Rim, an HTC phone, LG, Motorola. I wonder what that Galaxy S3 on AT&T is worth. Let's see here how much they'd give me for my Galaxy S3 because I'm really ready to buy an iPhone here where is it there it is yeah oh 16 gigs it's uh, it's a little dinged I dropped it off a building but that's okay free of water damage you bet I'm just curious how much this thing is worth whoa 229 bucks that pays for my new iPhone look at that if you've got a uh, gadget sitting around gathering dust you really ought to be bringing them to gazelle they'll how about a, a 210 bucks for an iPhone 4s the nice thing about Gazelle is they pay the shipping. Anything over a dollar, they'll you just you know send them an email. They'll send you back a mailing label. You ship it to them, and then you get paid fast. They'll send you a check, a PayPal credit, or this is the one I recommend, an Amazon gift card, because they add an additional 5% to the value. That's a great deal. You, you probably got a ton of stuff just lying around. Go to gazelle.com. Get rid of the old, ring in the new, get that new iPhone. Maybe you want the new iPod, a new MacBook. They'll take your old gadgets and send you cash. They even buy broken iPhones. If you get, I've got a, my kid's iPhone. The screen is broken. Uh, you, can, you can sell that, too. You've got to try it right now. Gazelle.com. Visit them. If they ask you, tell them you heard about it on Twit. But the main thing is, don't wait because that iPhone is not getting more valuable. I'm pretty much, pretty much can guarantee it's getting less valuable all the time. I wonder how much it's worth. Two hundred ten dollars. That's great. If it's flawless, even more. Two hundred twenty dollars. But that price is going to go down. Sell it now. Get that thirty day quote. Gazelle dot com. All right. <sighs> Football time. I send it back to you, John C. Dvorak. I hope you're holding out. I, everything's going well, right? Okay. Jolie O'Dell, did you bring baked goods? Did you bring back my phone? Yeah, I brought your phone back. 
Back to you guys. Yeah, she's got your phone. Got as if phone. you needed it. No baked goods. No baked goods anymore yeah. after we ridiculed her incessantly. Well, my bad for bringing in buns. Buns. What was I thinking? Jolie's buns. Yes, indeed. So, um, one a couple of things. If there were some this chat room action, I want to clear some things up. Joe Engo, which is the partner that we had on the X3 show, the is in Jersey, so he couldn't make this show. Jolie is engaged. She's not single, so too bad. Uh, although, for him I'm, or for me? No, I mean, too bad for this oh. poor guy who obviously was going to email you a request for a date. Good luck. He, he looks healthy, too, my fiancé. Her, his fia, your fiancé is a... Is a, is a, a while. Is a, he looks like a... Yeah, he looks like a rough and tumble guy. So he's He'll a good guy. I appreciate your saying so. And, uh... About 6'4", black. Uh, <laughs> black. He looks like a, a tight end for the Raiders. Wait a minute, it's a different guy. Uh, anything else we need to discuss before we get... We do have a promotion to do for the... Uh, you want to do the promotion right off? Let's do the promotion that... I always complain about this, and I don't know why I'm allowing it to be played, but let's do it anyway. It's a promotion for our uh, network. This is Twitch. Twit Live Specials. And now, Ever Tim again. Cook portraying Johnny Ive. We take changing the iPhone very seriously. We don't want to make just a new phone. We want to make a much better phone. It's beautiful and magical. <laughs> and it just works. <laughs> you can still comfortably use it with one hand. That was Sir Johnny Ive. The Giz Wiz. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Jammer B, John Slanina. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> it's oh. the worst. <laughs> <laughs> that almost went horribly that wrong. <laughs> Back break weekly. Oh, my God. I'm with, within 10 feet of Foo Fighters. I am with 10 feet of Foo Fighters. <laughs> we'll let you go kiss Dave Grohl if you want. Thanks, guys. Love all your stuff. I just get a rack of the Foo Fighters. Two Foo Fighters. <laughs> <laughs> This week in Google. Brian, our editor, made something that isn't polarizing, another Photoshop of... Oh, much better. Yeah. Brian's better at <laughs> yeah, Photoshop. He did. <laughs> and, a, and a good bride, too. I... NSFW show. <laughs> yeah! Twit. It's what's for dinner. Oh, a fascinating house ad, I will say. But I, we do have Tom Merritt in the house, I believe. And so I think we should uh, go to Tom and find out what's going, coming up in the week ahead. Tom? Let's look at some of the things we'll be keeping an eye on on Tech News Today in the week ahead. Monday, September 17th, the Space Shuttle Endeavor is hitching a ride atop the 747 to its new home in Los Angeles. Tuesday, September 18th, Motorola and Intel have an announcement in London. It may be the first Medfield-powered smartphone. That's everybody's best guess. Also, the Dreamforce Conference kicks off that day. Wednesday, September 19th, LG and Qualcomm, with the Snapdragon branding, have an announcement to live without boundaries. That one's a New York City door open at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. HTC has an announcement that same day in New York City to see what's next. That one's at 11 a.m. Eastern. And hopefully, they'll all be talking like pirates because it is International Talk Like a Pirate Day on Wednesday. Thursday, September 20th, the Tokyo Game Show opens in Tokyo, as you might expect. Friday, September 21st, that iPhone 5 thing from Apple goes on sale. And researchers Rizzo and Duong are scheduled to demonstrate the crime vulnerability in TLS and Speedy at the Echo Party Security Conference in Buenos Aires. That's just a sample of the things we'll be keeping an eye on. Uh, he disappeared. Like a, I was just going to ask him something. He, he's gone. Oh, well. So, uh, just the last couple of things. I guess Marissa Meyer just gave every Yahoo employee an iPhone 5. And I suppose, and didn't Microsoft just give everybody a, a Surface and a bunch of... So, yeah, so the only way they're going to get sales yeah. nowadays is just giving these things away to Why employees. Why don't you give them an Android phone? Well, she's... Well, don't we all already oh, that, have them yeah. from Google I.O.? No, wait a minute. This is a good point. What? She's an ex-Googler. Yeah. yeah. Why is she giving away... Apple I, she's Apple. sticking it oh. to them. Yes, yeah, so remember, she, remember she, she, was, this, she was kind of passed she over for promotion. Because she didn't get promoted, oh. she couldn't get the SVP job. Uh -huh. Nobody loves Hard Marissa Mayer, huh? so screw you, Google. I'm giving these guys iPhone fives. Yeah, you got to read into it. Remember, she was she was dating one of the founders, and he didn't promote Paige. her. And yeah, wow, really? You yeah. didn't know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah they dated. Yeah, they dated. Okay, fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, office romance, do not piss her off. 
Well, I don't know that this is going to work out with the Yahoo people. Do you think that she's going to do well over there? You're, I, you're, you're the I, one's I, closest I, I'm, to it. I, honestly, I think she'll do better than anybody else has done. She's the closest <laughs> match to the. Well, that's a good well, one. Even, well, they had a series of well, folks that were there that had, had no clue about how to run the company. Unfortunately, they ran it down so far, it's almost unrecoverable. But of of anybody she could, they could get, she was clearly the best. Why can't they promote from within the people that actually know the company? Well, because most of the smart where they, guys left the company some time well, ago. <laughs> It seems to me that you know you know where the skeletons are, are hidden and all the rest of it. If you, they don't they just keep bringing outsiders. Well, yeah. And as Ms. Venn says, she scares me. Anyway, I think that'll wrap it up for this week's. Uh, oh no. Yeah, I'm no. sorry. You have to go home. Oh, the Niners game. Oh, that's right. I gotta, just gotta, gotta I'm going to have to drive right. like the devil to catch up to Leo <laughs> in his Maybach, even though I know I he's... Think, I think it's a stretch know, gremlin. Fun. He doesn't have any engine in it. He has slaves pulling it. Yes. It takes forever to get the candlestick using that methodology. <laughs> so, uh, and by the way, I want to thank somebody for dropping off the Book of Knowledge. See? Oh, Look, the real Book of right. Knowledge. You should read it. I've... I consult it. You don't read the Book of Knowledge. You consult the Book of Knowledge. Uh, I want to thank Jolie O'Dell, and she can be found at uh, VentureBeat. VentureBeat.com. And she writes two or three posts a day. They work her to death. She needs to get a higher-paying job with a better publication. Well, they gave me a raise, so we're good. Oh, mm, raise. <laughs> Okay, well, she's good to go then. Uh, then we have Andrew Eisner, who is at, you're still at Retrievo. I'm still at Retrievo, yeah. So you, what do you do there? Well, I am uh, write a, a newsletter that comes out uh, Yeah, so people should subscribe and, to this uh, newsletter. You can follow me on, at A. Eisner on Twitter. A. Eisner on Twitter. Okay. What's your Twitter thing? Does it, or you care? It's at Jolie O'Dell, and you can follow me if you like. She does uh, occasionally tweet. And uh, you're who are you again? Oh, that's right, Rob, Love the most quoted guy <laughs> in the world. You can't even catch up to him anymore if you started now. It's like you're kind of like the uh, Pete Rose of of uh, quotables. Well, thank you. So uh, you had did people want to get a hold of you? Uh, AnderleyGroup.com. AnderleyGroup.com, and I'm John C. Devore. Yes, and it's by the way, he's he's does have the bon mot. Uh, I'm John C. Dvorak, and you can catch me at. Uh, ChannelDvorak.com, also NoAgendaShow.com, Dvorak.org slash blog, and uh, I don't know. I'm Twitters? a market watch. I'm a Twitter. Oh, the real Dvorak on Twitter. I need some more followers because I've... I oh, follow you. Do you? I do. Huh. I do too. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you both. Did you follow me? Occasionally. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I didn't think so either. <laughs> anyway, as they say, what is it they say? Ah, another twit is in the can. <laughs> <laughs> 